What's up, everybody? I don't know why that was out there from last night, but sometimes things from the previous night get left on. Can you hear that? Make it make sense. I guess you can't. Why is it not playing? Hang on. Can you hear that? Let me play it again. Can you hear what Craig is saying here? Test. Make it make sense. I don't think you can, can you? Hold on. Hang on. What am I doing here? Oh, you can. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why it looks like it shows me that you're not hearing it, but there you are. Anyways, yeah. This this is my question to OBS. Make it make sense. Yeah. Thank you, OBS. Please make it make sense. Anyways, you know what we're here for? Four hours of videos and songs to get you through your Sunday morning or afternoon, wherever you are around the world. Until that being said, starts at eleven thirty Eastern Standard Time with the marked one. And you're all legends, and don't forget it, all right? Let's get started right away. Enough of me. W w one more time, Craig. Craig wants to say something one more time. I apologize. Go ahead. Make it make sense. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, let's fucking go. WPIG 1651. Let's go. Broadcasting live from Stratford, Connecticut. You are listening to WPIG. Now listen to this. Shut up. Saturday night, see? Saturday night's all right for fighting. Why shouldn't they be playing this when I'm trying to play GT online? What the hell is this? Fuck you. It's getting late and support isn't slow. Can't wait for when Ryan gets in. It's getting dark out and I hope from get out. Gonna tweet all night, drunk on gym. My mom, my cat is sleeping, but I think I hear some weeping. I'm just glad we sleep in separate beds. I'm looking like my best in a hat and a vest Spray bottle to keep Jasper scared Oh! Oh! Don't give me none of your accusations I do not play no gacha games Oh, Saturday night's alright for bed You just went crazy from the 60 frames Cyber 4, I make a donation plea I have a business degree Cause Saturday night's the night for me My mum wife does agree, agree with me Do you like Elton John? I do enjoy the music of Elton John Oh, he's gay? He was gay all along Well, my dance have all rolled in tonight I'm looking for a whale who'll tip me right Forced to lead him and your world and then all the trolls Pin coming in the chat to keep it meaningful Time to watch some clips for DSP Reacts But my nails to keep quiet cause a person is black I don't get this fit so I kill the react like tea Wait a clip I can pause and just talk about me Wow Giving you basic observations Throw a little gold laugh in Saturday night's alright for reacting Entertaining flail of balance Wanking but the camera's been on the whole time huh? Chiggy Chan Wang like they say in China Cause Saturday night's alright for tips I better take a sip post nasal drip I do enjoy the music of Elton John. I'm not, I, I don't like like Elton John. Like, I'm not attracted to the man. I am a heterosexual male. I am married. But I do like the music of Elton John. Approaching me, she said, You can't exit the room, it's right there behind you. Take a look around and you will see. But at this point in time, my gears began to grind. That little girl better move out of my way. I said, If you are very rude, watch your parents ruin you. I left the room and this is what I said. Cause now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch cuz I can't who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they ever talked to me like that ack, 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 ack. I would have pimp slapped the shit out of that abuse a little girl from VR chat if she ever talked to me like that not even 15 months prior I'm playing Friday 13th killed by Jason in the middle of the night 
Then my teammates start a chatting about the time that I was whacking They start wondering if I'm the guy They said, he's the guy who got caught jerking off in front of children I think he might be 35 years old I told him, that's right, I'm a pervert, that's all I really do Just ejaculate for where our souls I said, I bet you know every inch of Every inch of my dick and balls But I'm still on YouTube and I'm still on Twitch I haven't lost my job at all They said, what about machinima? Don't forget Lavaria, not least of all Pollyanna I said, you know every inch of Yeah, my dick is only one inch tall I was sitting on my ass, the streamers winding down and coming to an end So I go to rep the day, but Jasper's got something to say I said, oh man, this will be meaningful content So I set my phone aside, record the rap and it upload I'll chuck some gin and hit the hay right after But when I wake up the next day, I can't believe what they all say They all claim that I'm down from the rafters You know there ain't no best for a dickhead All your money belong to me Two big bills to pay, my wife's mouth to feed But there ain't nothing I'll give you for free I know I can't slow down, I can't hold back And you know that I don't mind You know there ain't no best for a dickhead I hope I pull a six star mankind Watch me like pound Phil's ass, you know <laughs> Oh! Adrian Cole wants to pound Phil's ass. All right, let's go. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it. Imagine looking like this man right here. I just can't. This is very handsome, of course. How does it happen? <laughs> Let me tell you a story about the one that I adore. This is a girl who's I love can fill my cup. So I don't need Latina girls anymore. And I know she's a detractor and she makes detractor means I don't really care. It's because she farts my detractor beam and dread cold. You make me so hot. I know what you need. You know what I got? And dread cold. I know that sounds insane, but I really want to catch it and pay to change your last name and dread cold. For the love of my life, give me your love. But I'll make you my mom. Emirate cold. If you want me to, now I'm free. So it comes just a little closer and make me free. Now guys, <laughs> I want you to listen up real closely. I love my daddy. Cat is jealous or insecure or both. Yeah. Come on, baby. You know what I bring to the table for you? I would literally put my wife in a stable. Jasper wants attention. Lots and lots of gourmet food. All that being said, he's a better cat. That is new. I have to make a choice. Emirate. This is it me or this is it me? It's because I want to marry you and make you. Yes, I see. Emirate, cold. You make me so hot. I know what you need. You know what I got? You make bills. Emirate, cold. I would love to take your picture. Maybe we can get together with Stevie Richards. Emirate, cold. I'll be all carry the diamond. There are no words that rhyme with carry the diamond. Andrea Cold, I'll give you everything. All you have to do is wear this 2D golden ring. It's the ear movements, you know? Mm. Oh! Here the, okay. <laughs> I love it so much!
slap those cheeks all night I will change your life No more OnlyFans I will be your only man Free Kool-Aid for life Only for eleven ninety-five. No more living in a van We're going on vacation in Japan And you can use my heart Girl, my only love. My girl fresh out, looking so nice. So nice. let me get a date for 11.95. Grab your van, baby, we can take a ride. And if we get in the jam, go out like Bonnie and Clyde, baby. Clyde, let baby. me holler, girl, I'ma give a big tip. You can smoke loud on my cam, come and get this. We can take big sips, take a day trip down to the Costco, get some cool A mix. Let a homie get all up in that crazy. We can hang out in your van, you could give a handy J like that officer you play, baby. Play, baby. Make it angry like I wasn't finna pay, baby. Hey, baby. Kool-Aid girl, you the only one. The only girl I want in my tub. Only fans giving me that chub. Lil' Brazy Mama, so brazy, so thug. Juice on your lips, and it's dripping on your hips. Put my girl in jail for so long. She did nothing wrong. I want you free, and I'm begging to the skies above. Cool it, girl, my only, yeah, cool it, girl, my only love. Cool it, girl, my only love. Cool it, girl, my only love. Praying to the skies above. All units block all major roads and capture the sun. Round about to get down. But Linda's all lack has got a dog in some sad head. Off to Seattle, you mature all the line. Move in with my mate, one day make her my small wife. My bank accounts in the red. No point in saving, I'll rack up dead instead. Buy more stuff that I can track. Feeling it will take my back. Follow me, handle it, trust me, and we will escape from old CT. I'll pay for you, follow, follow me, at DSP, chip me, even though my content is shitty, my condo's near the wall, thanks to you, follow me! Go that we practice around every test. Red stank, but I still won't land. Can't just let me and my chat is slow. Can't go for myself or even change my own clothes. My partnerships are all dead. Why pay my cards? I'll just go bankrupt instead. Imprisoned in a gated community, begging for eternity. Return to me. Who am I harming? Rich literally destroyed me for a decade. He got what was coming to him. My detractors are literally still doing it daily. They're just getting their justice. One of my favorite parts about the recent changes in DSP's attitude, also known as the Return of the King, is that as of late, he can't help but mention the detractors every opportunity that he gets. You might be saying, but Atlas, I thought that was already the case. It seemed like he was already constantly talking about his haters and trolls all of the time. If this were a month ago, I would be inclined to believe you. But that's only because I just didn't know how much he would force this as a topic of discussion. Detractors are constantly getting at least one segment or mention every single day. And some of his audience are not really for these new developments. And we received the first tip of the night already here. I just got started. $2 tip from Sarah. Now listen to this, all right? Because we're gonna, we are going to address this. Because here's the deal. I've got to be honest. I'm not a fan of dragging down others and felting. I understand why you're doing it. It's good for business, but I hope when the hype dies down, you go back to being the old DSP that focuses on making positive content that doesn't harm anyone else. First of all, 
I haven't stopped making any content. I'm making exactly the same content in the same amounts. In fact, it's just extra content. I'm still making the gameplay. I'm still doing the podcast. There's just extra content added onto it. So your statement about me not making content is actually false. The funniest part about this is at no point, though, did Sarah actually mention making less content. She did say that she hopes the focus goes from felting the haters back to the gameplay, a common sentiment shared among many of his dents, believe it or not. But again, at no point was there any mention of less content. I don't know if he's really that stupid, if his reading comprehension is that abysmal, or if this was just a way for him to forcibly talk about how he's making more content in the form of clips that nobody cares about. But regardless of what the answer is, it doesn't matter because because he's blatantly misrepresented what this person has said simply so that he could lambast them publicly. And I want to remind everybody that moving on positively and focusing on the actual gameplay and the content coming up as opposed to the haters is something that DSP very much prided himself in for years. You might recall some of the segments that we received over the past few years where he very openly said that he was not a drama channel, he had no intentions of being a drama channel, and actually wanted to focus on the gameplay because that's why people came through. Apparently that's no longer the case though number two your statement saying that basically you are sad that i'm dragging others down i'm literally not dragging anyone down that hasn't done it to me for a decade first it was rich now it's my detractors i'm not going after anyone I re i'm not i have no reason to go after anyone but now these people who have made money on my back for a decade are going to get their fucking share of misery they deserve it and i am going to get back Every ounce that they milked out of me is coming back to me now, period. So you are attacking others. You are bringing other people down. Why deny the accusation just to immediately confirm everything that they just said was in fact right? It's just a waste of breath. And this person very clearly stated that they want the focus to be on the video game. So I don't think it matters how you try and justify it to this person. They aren't interested in that style of content. And I don't think that they're going to be convinced. And I would have to imagine any longtime DSP supporter would feel this way if they truly believed any of the drivel that he's been spewing at them for the last six years or so. But now that he's got a little bit of buzz again, he changes his entire mission statement to ensure that he's felt maxing. Hopefully his real fans see the guy for what he truly is now, so that after the Kino arc is over and all of the Kino enjoyers go back to the casino, his audience is in shambles and he's right back where he belongs. Because the way that he switched up recently is completely insane. They say if you want to see a person's true character, you give them a little bit of power. And look what DSP's done as of late. That's who he really is. But you're not going to see me go out and attack others for no reason. You're just going to see me be myself. All right. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. Really, I am. Because I don't think that anything I'm doing is offensive or wrong. Right. Am I? Can anyone say that? I feel, wow, Phil really went out and he's just stabbing everyone, attacking everyone constantly. No. You know me. I'm going to stay here in my lane and do my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, particularly in this case. All right. I'm just going to say something. I'm going to reiterate it from what I said this morning. What's been happening is the people who are pocket detractors, pocket watchers of me. I said this on the podcast earlier today. People who are pocket watchers of me, who literally sat around watching for the wrong reasons, are now upset. Because now they're realizing it's not fun to be on my streams anymore because there's nothing to make fun of. I'm literally winning every stream. Correct? We already had it with Don Fanucci, Right? We already had it. Well, guess what? I know a particular few people who have been sitting around pretending to be fans that are not, okay? And I am not going to put up with that shit. So let me tell you right now, if you were a pocket watcher of mine, and now all of a sudden you're upset because now I'm doing well, people like my content are seeing me for who I really am rather than a lie, you can't just sit around and pocket watch and make stabs at me and say fucked up stuff, guess what? You leave right now or I can remove you. There's your two choices. You can leave of your own accord, or I will remove you myself, and I will laugh at it when it happens. If he knows who these people are, why wouldn't he just ban them before they say anything of the sort? I mean, the answer is obviously because he wants to make a spectacle of it, because he wants to make it an ordeal so that he can flex his muscles on stream as if he's somebody. But he seems to have forgotten how to use the term pocket watching or pocket watchers in this case, because the way that he just used it, it sounds like he's talking about LARPers or people hanging out in his chat sneak dissing and secretly prying on his downfall. 
He did mention money though, so maybe he was actually talking about pocket watchers, but if that's the case, the way that he communicated it was not clear, and he really should work on that, being that half of his job is communication. But he's clearly winning, you guys. Look at all of the money that comes in. That really just proves for the nth time that money is the only thing that he cares about, and every other metric be damned. You can shove your view counts in the chat in a direction where the sun don't shine as far as he's concerned, because nobody takes those as payment, and buying more un necessary shit is what dsp is living for right now because i've had enough of it you, you sitting in here i was being nice to people oh they're not breaking the rules doesn't matter if you're not breaking the rules now because now i already I already knew who you were all this time you see the only people who have issue right now with what's going on with me getting more views getting engagement making money are detractors that's it that's literally the only people that have issue my longtime fans like it my new fans like it no one has issue with this because they've seen me be the whipping boy of the internet for a decade and now they're like, yes, this is great. This is called people getting their comeuppance. This is called the underdog coming back. This is almost like the second, you know, the second return, the second coming of Phil getting YouTube again, getting popularity, right? <clears throat> right? A quick scroll through his videos as I'm doing on screen right now can show pretty quickly not only are his views about the same they've been for a while now, but that the only time he really breaks over 1k is when he's talking about detractors or his next collab. So I really don't know what he's talking about when it comes to hitting YouTube and being popular again, unless he really is talking solely about the amount of money that he's been getting. And he wants desperately to paint himself as the underdog, to paint himself as the hero of this story, but he wants to call himself the king? Last I checked, rarely is the king ever seen as the underdog. In fact, more often than not, the king is used as the villain, the character you're supposed to root against because he's loud, rude, obnoxious, entitled, detached from reality, and treating other people poorly. Definitely sounds like the guy if you ask me. Besides, who would ever root for an underdog that has the same traits as DSP? He's the type of character where if he were actually the hero, I'd be praying that the absolute evil wins out just to quell his arrogance. So. I gotta ask the question, Sarah, where do your intentions really lie? Because literally what you just said in this $2 tip is wrong. No, I am not, what do you say? Go back to the old DSP that focuses on making good positive content that doesn't harm anyone else. Who am I harming? Rich literally destroyed me for a decade. He got what was coming to him. My detractors are literally still doing it daily. They're just getting their justice. They're just desserts. That's different than if I was someone who literally went out and attacked other people to make to get myself over. I mean, these are not innocent people. These are people who deserve this treatment for how they've treated me. I just sat here and took it for 10 years and now I'm just not going to take it anymore, right? <clears throat> right? Is that the second double right in this short clip? Good lord, dude, chill out. He's frantic at this point. My god. And I'm not trying to conflate what DSP is doing to murder. They're not really similar at all. What I am trying to say, though, is that if you listen to what DSP just said and replace his actions with murder, his justification sounds completely insane. These people are getting what they deserve, Sarah. And if you can't see that, well, maybe you don't belong in the future that we're building. Where does your allegiance lie? If that isn't cult speak, then I don't know what is. He really does sound like a lunatic. He outright is interrogating where Sarah's intentions are. Like, dude, what are you talking about? Had he put on the Pigler hat and a black and white filter, I'd be convinced that this is a speech from that German man who ran the country during World War II. So honestly, Sarah, I don't know where your intentions are lying with this tip, and I don't know if what you're saying is true or not, or you could be a Don Fanucci. You really could be. So I don't know what to tell you. If you're not happy that finally I get to defend myself and I get justice, maybe you were watching for the wrong reasons. Okay? Okay, cool. Please let me know if I'm wrong, but isn't this the Sarah that is a long-term dent head and legitimate chatter in DSP's audience? Regardless, the way he's talking about them is insane. I don't know if it's ever justifiable to talk to a member of your stream audience like this, especially given that this is DSP Space Gaming, the man who talks incessantly about how he's a content curator and he only wants to make content for his small fan base every day. Yet, here he is ousting one of his own because they don't like the drastic shift in attitude and content. Content. As if that wasn't to be expected when making a drastic shift in your attitude and content. But in the meantime, I'm not going to not count your tip. Just because I don't agree with what you said. That would be kind of uh, unfair of me. I wouldn't be very kingly uh, behavior if I did that, would it? 
Oh, thank God, he added the tip to the goal. Isn't the king so gracious? I couldn't roll my eyes far enough back in my head for that line, I promise. Hopefully, Sarah is no longer with us, and by that, I mean in DSP's chat, because just a few days later, we got a completely unhinged segment about Discord. Yes, the messaging app. Because apparently, people who dislike Phil aren't allowed to use it at least according to him. And then, just a few days after that, there was an entire pre-stream dedicated to Keemstar and Duty. So, big ups to Duty for getting his own segment, of course. He's calling it Playing With Duty, a completely mature and original title that only the guy could come up with, obviously. And due to my inability to focus long enough to make any full-length videos, this is going to be a shorter one. Hopefully, you don't mind and even enjoy it more? Potentially? Maybe? But we aren't going to leave without at least one comment from the 60 Skulls, so shout out to them. Dead Exo says, I find it nuts that DSP has just gone completely off the wall with seeking revenge or justice, as he calls it. He retained nothing from his upbringing, especially his Roman Catholic morals. And you're absolutely right, because all of the morals that he feigned before this point were just a means for him to cope. A way for him to pretend that he was where he wanted to be and that he was in control the entire time despite the position that he put himself in constantly. But I think, again, that the most important takeaway is to notice how quickly he was willing to switch up as soon as he got a little bit of positivity behind him. Because it's not too often that that does happen to him, but when it does, this is how he behaves inevitably. It's cyclical in that way, and I really am curious as to why DSP thinks that even if this is legitimate positivity on his behalf, that this is going to be any different from the way that it always goes, and that he is going to mess everything up and miss out on all of the opportunities that he had. <laughs> Maybe you were watching for the wrong reason. Wow, that's a really chill vibes. Nice, soothing tone. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready as the soothing sounds of ESP Gaming come to you live. Benton, Washington. Here today on YouTube. So, here we go. People have seen that when I'm playing Street Fighter VI, the ranked matches, it's people trying to play their absolute best. Basically, it's a lot of stress. It starts to fall apart. I start freaking out. I don't know why I got hit. I don't know why that's hitting me. The blood pressure pumping up. I could do a simple move. My body's hot, the adrenaline. I didn't know what to do. My agitation makes me want to keep going, right? And that's gonna spell disaster. It starts to fall apart. So here's a comment left directly on last night's video of M. Bison gameplay. As I continued to, you know, grind, I was doing good, but you know, there's issues that arise when I'm playing, right? I think this might actually lead to a direct change to when I play Street Fighter. It actually is going to be for the best, both for me and for the viewers. So this is what I mean about getting truly constructive feedback, is that it really can help and change things for the better. So here we go, ready? To take a breather to blink like this, to be natural, to be human, instead of being a robot mashing through a bunch of matches back to back. Honestly, let's get the blood pressure down, get the adrenaline down, recuperate, blink, right, hydrate in the eye, hydrate in the mouth, hydrate everything, and then come back. You should take breaks every two matches or so. You better take a sip, you fucking sleazy asshole. Hey, good. When you mad, remember, chill. Hey, good. When you mad, remember, chill. I don't know if when I'm playing fighting games, if I'm blinking or not, because I'm focusing on the fighting game. The game has this really vivid color scheme, explosions and everything. When that's happening, I gotta take a break. I was saying my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. It starts to fall apart. The logic betrays you. My eyes start to bug out a bit. My eyes start to burn. My eyes had started to have issues. I didn't know what to do. I have purchased eye drops, two different kinds. This one is Refresh Optive. Oh my God. I was gonna tell you what the active ingredient is, but I don't think I can read that word. It's got more syllables than I think the fucking dictionary has in. 
car carboxymethyl cellulose sodium carbothyl mexocellulose sodium glycerin take a breather blink like this to be natural to be human instead of being a robot mashing through a bunch of matches back to back honestly let's get the blood pressure down get the adrenaline down recuperate blink right hydrate in the eye hydrate in the mouth hydrate everything and then come back you should take breaks every two matches or so you better take a sip you fucking sleazy asshole hey good if i'm chill please see you I'm not Neil Druckmann. See, in Only Eyes Kevin, I disagree with you there. He says, I think some people will come and support you and give you money and stuff to own the trolls. Here's the difference, okay? All right? I do not, if you haven't noticed, I never say that. I w never once will you come on a stream of mine and hear me say something to this effect. Oh, everyone, please contribute so we can really stick it to those trolls tonight and make them upset. I never once will you come on a stream of mine and hear me say something to this effect. We can maintain this momentum, right? The way that it's been going and everything and just been getting better. It, it, you know, the sky's the limit. So I hope we can keep the momentum going. Like I said, literally every stream where I'm hitting my goals and we're having a great time together and those dumb trolls have to clip it and look at that leaderboard down there and they fucking are so upset at it. And I never say that. Huh? A tier one achieved. Now we get tier two, you will vote for a silly hat for me to wear tonight. And I have many silly hats that I can wear tonight. And of course, this would, if we hit the full goal tonight, that means that we have had six straight streams where I've done that, and that would be not only amazing support for your king, for the content that I put out, but also a certain group of people would be crying and seething and very upset that once again, if they try to clip this stream, they have to put in that crazy successful goal. You know what I'm saying? I never say that. What do I say? I say, come to my stream and please support me. Because you like the content. You want to see this continue. You want to see me to keep being successful. You know that I'm crowdfunded. You know this is the only income I get is your crowdfunding income. If you like the content, please support it. And by the way, never go above your means. When you're contributing, only do what's right for you. That's what I say on my streams, right? I'm not Neil Druckmann. I'm not Neil Druckmann. I would be curious, how, what is his reaction to all this shit all over the internet now about The Last of Us 1 re-release? Because to me, if that were me, and this is just my take, I would be sad. Because yeah, you want it to be about the positive. You want it to, the discussion to be about the positive things. Instead, all I see is, ha ha ha, we're really getting them. We're going to buy this game again and we're going to stick it to the haters. And I hope that you guys will stick around and support the stream. Please, you can fill the king's coffers this morning. That would be great. Remember now, this is now the seventh stream in a row. Six streams. We have not only hit the goals, but exceeded them on every stream that I have done, six in a row. Can we keep that going? Can we keep that positivity and momentum and support for my content going? If so, number one, that would be amazing. amazing. The resurgence and renaissance of DSP will continue. But number two, as a side effect, it would absolutely make all of my haters cry. Yeah, you want it to be about the positive. I love video games and I hate seeing the industry go down a toilet because of people like Neil Druckmann, all right? He did one decent thing on the Game Awards where he presented absolutely nothing of value. Nothing. Yet, people who are the rabid fans of The Last of Us will say that was a great segment. Praise the almighty Druck. And I can't wait to line up and pre-order Last of Us 1 Remake. remake. fucking disgusting. So by the way, be sure when you clip the show, include the contributions leaderboard to show us crushing it again. Be sure when you clip my show for your detractor, secret detractor, discord circle jerking bullshit that you include the success in the shot. 
Don't miss the success. Don't crop it out. Be a man and show how I'm fucking Check beating your ass every day. Yeah. Okay? Be sure to include it. Disgust me and I should disgust you too. I want to give you my perspective on it. You are watching my react on this documentary, correct? Okay? All the time, I have people who treat me like shit on the internet. Okay? All right? Whether it's just general people or haters or whatever. Now, here's what I've always said to you guys who like DSP Gaming, and now, hopefully, those of you who like DSP Reacts. If you want to support me, all right? All right. And my content, do it just for that reason. Because you like me and or you like my content and you want to see it continue. I don't want anyone to ever come to my content and say, I support your content because your haters are jerks. You guys coming by and supporting my content, thank you for that. We keep it going. It's literally changed my life. So that being said, oh, by the way. <clears throat> and also makes my detractors see them cry. But that's not the focus. The focus should be that you're supporting me and my content because you like it. You know, you heard from Kino Casino. You gave me a chance. Now you're really enjoying the stuff that I'm putting out. And you're supporting it for the right reasons. But at the same time, as a side effect, if those guys are over there freaking out, crying and screaming and little babies about it, then that's a good thing too, right? Right? So I'm doing this as a way to say neener, neener, neener to your haters and stick it to them. I don't want that kind of support. I'm sure I get it and I can't help it if I get it. All right? I can't. I can't make someone not contribute because they want to stick it to a hater of mine. All right? But I want you to like me and my content for me and my content. $50 away from maxing out my goal again. This would be the ninth straight stream that we did it. And that would be outstanding. Think about how many people. Oh, oh those, those sad, sad trolls and detractors would cry if we hit that goal tonight. <laughs> and now here's, here's the other thing as well. Okay. Cordy the Kid just did a super chat, and I want to say, I want to address this directly. Cordy the Grandma Kid says, breasts? every dono makes detractor seed. As much as that's true, I've always said this, and I will stick to my guns. Please listen, this is very important. Do not contribute to my content to make my detractors cry. Secret detractor discord again, and you accidentally misclicked and sent me another $14 tip? What a shocking shame. What a horrible turn of events that that would happen. Wow. Thank you so much. That gets us to 164 and still climbing. And I didn't even boot the game yet. Choke on it, detractors. Oh, and by the way, when you're sitting there on your secret discords today and you're planning your evil plots against me and you're clipping my content, be sure to clip the leaderboard that I smashed again before I even played a game. Be sure it's fully in the frame. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I Hello. The light is really I don't care. pop. Off. Don't matter now what you say. Don't listen. Don't even listen to get annoyed. Don't listen to agree. He's a fucking shell of a man. Trying to say whatever he have to say to make some dude give him money. Nothing he say matters. It's all just to get something at the end of the day from strangers. And to take from everybody and not give to anyone. Not even his own wife. Let's see what he's talking about. Is a type of arthritis that happens when you have too much uric acid in your blood and a four sharp crystals in your joints. This usually happens in your big time. You also can have gout.
I certainly wasn't expecting much when I woke up this morning. Woke up this morning. Woke up this morning. Woke up this afternoon when you dressed just like a bum. Linda always knew you'd be her. Dented son said you one in six million. An interesting number to read. You were born under an airy sign with them gal crystals in your feet. Said you woke up this afternoon and you hobbled your ass downstairs. Got your Zelda PJs, even got your fall gal underwear. Said you looking gouty, baby. I believe that you're a filthy swine. No shame about it. Born with a flat head, cause you had no tummy time. You say now, woke up this afternoon, and you had no, and you had no tummy time. Yeah. Woke up a goddamn shame about it. Woke up this afternoon, and you had no, and you had no tummy time. Woke up this afternoon, yeah. Yeah, baby, say it. Woke up this evening, did the react show like the norm? Except control when it said you Argentinian transport. <laughs> said you looking at scope again, yeah, looking at sweaty man behind. Pulling, why you pulling Hogan's with Hogan's not sacking your eye? You say now, woke up this afternoon. Hogan made you come. Hogan made you come. Oh my god, well, <laughs> I guess I gotta ban someone. I guess you could call that a dick. Bought a brand new box of crayons I'm gonna eat them up when you go live I get excited when you're swaying Snorting right into the mic I loved it when you left your camera on Oh, the camera's on It gets me up when you're getting off Oh, yeah I'd really like to support the channel I gotta go and steal my mom's credit card I don't know why I'm hesitating To give you a tip Or a membership Can you help? I'm a dead I'm mouth drooling like crazy Every time you berate me Keep it in your skin i really like to move in It'll be you and me I can't tip today, I'm sorry Phil Disability check is on the way And even if I end up homeless Sean at J Thorpe I'll give you every dollar that comes my way Cause if someday I end up like Jade, yeah I could watch every day, yeah And that be the shit Can you help? I'm a dead I eat crayons for the flavor It time Fantasia Bend off Cherry Pip For being a creepy sim That's why they call me a dead I'm dented as fuck 
Cause I give all my money to a cup I'm such a dead I'm dented as fuck I'm dented as fuck Yeah, I'm a dead Watch every day, yeah, and that be the shit. Can you help? I'm a dead. I eat crayons for the flavor. It's time Fantasia. Bend off cherry pimp for being a creepy seer. That's why they call me a dead. That's why they call me a dead. No dead.
see the free stream coming. I'm digging around in chat. And I ain't here to tip skull since I last showed cat. Well, I'm stuck here in my snort fort. It's just another day. When I think about my life now, I pick my ears and sway. When I was just a baby, Mama said, look here, always be a good boy and let me comb your hair. So I just let her do it till I was 17. You know that Linda killed my hairline when it by me Wolverine. some DoorDash cause it's what I love the best but in that dang pendejo took it to the wrong address so I'm wandering and renting trying to find my feet which of these thousand boomer porches has got that slop I need I bet that Maximilian's having drinks with Justin Wong those dickheads didn't invite me but I did nothing wrong, now I'm still winning my snore fort. I don't need friends like them. It ain't friends that make you happy, it's pictures of muscle men. It ain't friends that make you happy, it's pictures of muscle men. Showing you love, about to rob you for your shit. Keep the kisses and hugs. Ain't no acrobatics, only thing we flipping is drugs. Get it twisted, the biscuit will take off half of your mug. Back the fuck up, move the fuck back. 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 Better move, bitch. Get out the way, cause I'm scheming. On you for the cream, I be fiending. That's piff, I be steaming. Shoulda had you leaning. A couple people puffed it and told me they seen Dean. Shut the fuck up. Them corny rhymes, we don't like that. Them half decent verses, nah, you ain't right that. You a shucking job front for live, bitch, ain't really living it. The dirt you claiming that you done, you ain't never did this. Don't come to Bridgeport with that shit, cause a nigga might spat. Don't come to Bridgeport with that shit, they'll shoot you in your ass. How you go? Ghostwriter that written, you spitting this trash If you really that confident, go ahead, put up some cash Where them hood niggas at, that be pushing two for fives Where them hood niggas at, sell the same ones for dimes Don't come to Bridgeville with that shit, cause a fiend in your life Don't go to Harford with that shit, hey, body out there trife Don't go to Stanford with that shit, them niggas will do you dirty New Haven niggas will chop you down with a 30-30 Back the fuck up, move the fuck back Back the fuck up, move the fuck back Back the fuck up Move the fuck back, back the fuck up, move the fuck back, better move. There was another game called WWE Champions that was like, I want to say it was like early 2017 it came out, and I played it on and off casually over the course of that year, along with all the other mobile games that I was playing. I was playing um, Dragon Ball, what was it? Uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy Brave XVS, um, Marvel Future Fight, and at one point I was playing this Fox cartoon characters card game as well. Um, 
and I only played it casually. That was the game that I kind of like casually grinded in and just played on and off as a free-to-play game. And I stopped playing it because I, I lost interest in it. It was it's a it's a gem breaker game where it's like playing um what is it like Candy Crush or whatever. Um, but that was always the side game that I played. The other games were my major focus at the time. And uh, by the way, I quit all of that stuff when Cat moved in in 2018. I quit all mobile games. I don't play them anymore. I got rid of them. I said I'd rather focus time on important stuff with my family and stuff. I don't waste time. They're all. I keep telling you guys this. Mobile games are money sinks. There, you'll put money into it, you put time into it, and money into it, and you don't get anything really out of it unless you're constantly keep playing and sinking more money into it. That's the truth of the matter. Now, these idiots want me to show you my accounts and everything. How the fuck am I going to do that? So I show you on my screen, oh, that's not your account, that's someone else's. Or I show you on my screen, oh, look, that's a name we didn't know. Now let's go scour the internet for other times Phil used that fucking name and other things so we can find other accounts that he's done and hack other accounts and get more personal information. Fuck you. All right, I've had enough of this shit. I seriously am tired. Every little fucking thing in my life being microanalyzed by a bunch of no life, worthless, disgusting, toxic, do nothing, ne'er do wells who will never ever have a shred of fucking positivity in their lives. They live in their fucking Paris basements. They hide from real life and they do this shit anonymously on the internet because they can get away for it. For if they didn't get away with it in real life, they would all hide like the cowards they fucking are. No, fuck off. Stop fucking with me and every little thing that I say and do and twisting it into something it's not. Stop trying to take information from three, four years ago and turn it into something now that it's not to ruin me. I'm tired of this shit. Really, it gets to the point where I get so fucking frustrated and it just gets pent up pain inside of me because any little thing that I say and do on a stream can be turned construed into something that it's not or that something nasty can be made out of something that I did innocently years ago and now you're going to somehow try to fuck with me and I know because I know I know exactly what happens. If I show you an account on my phone, oh my God, now we got something else on them. Use that name, Scar the end. It's never gonna end. It never will end. There's no, you know, the reason I did this stream today was to get everyone caught up on stuff that was going on. I knew that talking about a foreclosure and a bankruptcy that was public knowledge that was gonna be on the internet. I knew those idiots were gonna misrepresent it and lie about shit. So I went out on my best interest here and I told you guys very transparently about what's going on with that, okay? Anything else that you hear is fucking horseshit, period. If I have stuff that I feel is important to my streams or my content, or that I need to reveal to you about my personal life, I will. But all this other shit, I'm so fucking tired of hearing it, I really am. I'm just done with it. I'm done addressing it. I'm done fucking putting up with it. Enough is fucking enough. My life has been systematically fucked up year after year by people fucking with me. I can't get sponsorships. I can't get all the same opportunities every other full-time streamer gets because of you pieces of fucking shit trying to ruin my life. Fuck you. I'm done putting up with your shit. I'm not entertaining for a single moment any more of your stupid bullshit. You could say anything you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. By far, the worst game that I play is WWE Champions. This game is basically just a time waster for me because I watch WWE. So a lot of the times when I'm watching wrestling, I'll open up the game and play it. It sucks. The game is, is actually one of the most unfair games I've ever played. Here's why. So when you play a game like Candy Crush or all those, you have a screen full of tokens and you have to move them around to match up. It breaks a row or whatever, and then the tokens fall. This game actually actively cheats all the time. And what I mean by that... You'll be fighting an opponent. Okay, well, your your character, for example, will use different colored gems to earn combos. So maybe your character uses green and black gems. Well, guess what? You'll play a match, no green and black gems whatsoever on the fucking screen at all. Oh, but the computer opponent you're facing uses red and yellow, and the whole fucking screen is red and yellow. So they get all these combos and shit, and you get nothing because the game fucked you. In addition to that, all right, it actively cheats with what gems are above that you can't see that fall when you break stuff. Because a lot of the time, you'll do you'll break a row and just, you know, gems will fall, whatever. Then the computer will break a row. Oh look, conveniently all these gems up top are the colors they need to get a multi-combo. And I'm not kidding, you'll be like full health bar against an enemy that has no health. All of a sudden, the enemy will break one row and then all of a sudden, 
combo, combo, and they keep falling into place perfectly to get like a 10 hit combo and you instantly die. And this happens all the time. It's not like, oh, it happens on a rare occasion. This happens all the fucking time when you play the game. The game is horrendously broken. And it's hilarious because people are playing this game and like it. And I'm like, dude, this game is terrible. This game is actually one of the worst mobile games I've ever played because it actively cheats and generates the gems only for your opponents and not for you to get these combos to just fall into place. WWE Champions is just a oh, time waster. If there's nothing going on in the other games, or a lot of the times what happens is these games for some reason have maintenance, and they end up being at the same time or whatever, then I'll go play WWE Champions, but that's like the afterthought. I barely, play, you know, that's the game I, I like the least out of anything that I play mobile. All right. I will outright say something because I'm tired of this. I spent no fucking money this weekend on mobile fucking games. I don't even actively play mobile games. I'm tired of the fucking sl slander against me. Oh, you know what happened? Phil, he spent all his money on mobile games. I spent zero. Zero. It went to my fucking bills. And I don't want to put up with their bullshit anymore when they lie about this constantly. It didn't fucking happen. Alright? I'm tired of it. Enough is fucking enough. And mobile games are not necessarily games that have a crazy, interesting, long, you know, stringing narrative, real great character development, or even, honestly, any kind of complex gameplay elements. Mobile games are meant to be games you sit down, you can jump right into them. You can play them right off the bat. They're easy to play. They're addictive. They're simple but fun. But they have an element where you have to spend to keep playing or winning. That's how they become addictive, and that's how people keep getting caught into that vicious cycle of spend, spend, spend on them. So, when I when I used to play uh, mobile games, and I do still play mobile games today, just not to the extent I used to. It used to be a thing for me that I would do when I was doing other stuff. So I'd be watching a movie, but I've also have a mobile game out that I'd be playing while I played the movie. So it's kind of like double use of your time. You're like multitasking, right? Were those your transactions? No. So, so those were not tied to you at all? No. So you're saying, just, just so we're on the same page, you're saying that this account that is not yours, that had thousands of dollars of, of fees to the Apple store consistently, that are, uh, these, these amounts just happen to tie to exact amounts in the game that we're talking about, WWE Champions. Um, and, the, and it's a game that you also play just so, just so we're all on the same page, yeah. you're saying that that is not your account at all, and they were unsuccessful in find in hacking your bank account. They did not hack my bank account. They did not have access to my bank account. It seems awfully convenient. And right. just, just <laughs> right, it's not awfully convenient, <laughs> but that, that's the truth. It's, you can understand how us looking from the outside in looks at this and and, and raises an eyebrow and doesn't yeah, quite it, buy it, oh, right? It, to, to me, it, I mean, from an outside perspective, who, who doesn't know anything, would look like you had to go and file for bankruptcy. You had all these issues and people calling you out for spending way too much money on this game when you should have been saving for taxes. And then, you know, this shit comes out and you're like, you're freaking sweating you got to freaking do something about it it's like oh i was hacked that that identity theft like maybe I, the identity theft happened i'm just like painting a picture for like these people on the internet that hate you mm -hmm. and are trying to convince the world of what happened and then like craig said i mean you are playing it it is your username there are all these bank statements that actually correlate perfectly with this game i, I i'm leaning more towards that side of the story because it makes more sense i mean it, you needed an out you were having you have money issues and have had money issues for a while yep. and it's just like uh, it's reason, hard to believe dude the reason that this story has not died out like every other one is because this is the one that i really don't have a way to prove my innocence without further exposing myself you do you have a police report for the, a, the a identity report you don't. Oh, you no. could redact certain things. I did not. Do, I don't have a police report. I. Jeez, oh, how do I? Did Did you not go to the police when your identity was hacked? Or no, taken? I went to. I went to all my financial institutions. I went to the credit bureaus. You didn't go to the them. police though when someone no, was stealing your identity. 
No. Why wouldn't you do that? I didn't even think to do it. I don't think, what would they do about it? Uh, try to fucking get the person and arrest them for stealing your identity? I, I mean, you're, I guess, maybe, but here, okay. I guess what I gotta do is tell you a little bit more about all the crap I've been through. Uh, hello, uh, we haven't been properly no. You've been introduced before. I'm Phil here on behalf of KO Gaming. By the way, you uh, must be... Jack. Well, Jack. it seems we both got autism, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Your head was once a haunted house. Flew you west, became my spouse. You won't eat fruit, except in pies. Won't let me get between your thighs. Go to bed behind the locked door. Cause nobody loves me. It's true. You just love food. Holy poly raspberry ripple But her fingers stiffen your nipples Scribbles outside get more nuts My custard don't penetrate your guts Ding dong Pizza guy at the front door Cause nobody loves me It's true You barely choose Stir my sauce, chicken meatballs instead of boiled Italian beef. I'll stream upstairs and cry, cause nobody loves me. It's true. Oh, hello, Jew. But long you'll be throat on fertilized eggs, bacon, toast seed in your mouth. For burger buns won't pull my pork, I pull with my thumbs. Thick white buzzes through thin walls, cause nobody loves me, it's true. Not even. Here's Phil to tell you more. I play a Marvel video game called Marvel Future Fight. And I play a game called WWE Champions, which of all things, if you can believe it, is a WWE game that plays like Candy Crush. It's basically just moving gems around and breaking colored gems, all right? The stupidity here is somewhat, well, is there, is there a nugget of truth about the WWE mobile games? I already talked about this, I think it was last night or the night before. Here, I'll say it one more time for all of you, all right? At one point, I played WWE Supercar. That was a mobile game I played like five, six years ago, a lot. For about a year, I played it pretty hardcore, all right? Even at that point, that was before everything kind of fell apart with YouTube and everything. I was put a little bit of money into it. I was playing for the top cards. I was playing the shit out of that game, okay? After about a year, they launched what they called Season 2, which reset all the cards in the game and made every all your progress essentially worthless. And I said, this game fucking sucks. What a complete waste of time that this was, all right? Um... And at this point, this is so frustrating, okay, that 
I really feel that I, I, I said I'm just never playing this again. And I did. I quit it cold turkey. About I think it was about a year later. I went back and I reinstalled the game just to try it. And it was shitty. Like I didn't really like it anymore. It was way too complicated. There were like multiple seasons of cards being played. And it was like the only way to even play it at any level that's enjoyable, you have to dump a ton of money into it. So I stopped playing it. There was another game called WWE Champions that was like I want to say it was like early 2017 it came out, and I played it on and off casually over the course of that year, along with all the other mobile games that I was playing. I was playing um, Dragon Ball, what was it, uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Final Fantasy uh, Final Fantasy Brave XVS, um, Marvel Future Fight, and at one point I was playing this Fox Cartoon Characters card game as well. Um, and I only played it casually. That was the game that I kind of like casually grinded in and just played on and off as a free-to-play game. And I stopped playing it because I, I lost interest in it. it was, it's, a, it's a gem breaker game where it's like playing, um, what is it, like Candy Crush or whatever. Um, but that was always the side game that I played. The other games were my major focus at the time. And uh, by the way, I quit all of that stuff when Cat moved in. In 2018, I quit all mobile games. I don't play them anymore. I got rid of them. I said, I'd rather focus time on important stuff with my family and stuff. I don't waste time. They're all, I keep telling you guys this. Mobile games are money sinks. There, you'll put money into it, you put time into it, and money into it, and you don't get anything really out of it unless you're constantly keep playing and sinking more money into it. That's the truth of the matter. Now, these idiots want me to show you my accounts and everything. How the fuck am I going to do that? So I show you on my screen, oh, that's not your account, that's someone else's. Or I show you on my screen, oh, look, that's a name we didn't know. Now let's go scour the internet for other times Phil used that fucking name and other things so we can find other accounts that he's done and hack other accounts and get more personal information. Fuck you. All right, I've had enough of this shit. I seriously am tired. Every little fucking thing in my life being microanalyzed by a bunch of no life, worthless, disgusting, toxic, do nothing, ne'er do wells who will never ever have a shred of fucking positivity in their lives. They live in their fucking Paris basements. They hide from real life and they do this shit anonymously on the internet because they can get away from it. For it. If they didn't get away with it in real life, they would all hide like the cowards they fucking are. No, fuck off. Stop fucking with me and every little thing that I say and do and twisting it into something it's not. Stop trying to take information from three, four years ago and turn it into something now that it's not to ruin me. I'm tired of this shit. Really, it gets to the point where I get so fucking frustrated and it just gets pent up pain inside of me because any little thing that I say and do on a stream can be turned construed into something that it's not or that something nasty can be made out of something that I did innocently years ago and now you're going to somehow try to fuck with me and I know because I know I know exactly what happens. If I show you an account on my phone, oh my God, now we got something else on them. Use that name, Scar the It's never gonna end. It never will end. There's no, you know, the reason I did this stream today was to get everyone caught up on stuff that was going on. I knew that talking about a foreclosure and a bankruptcy that was public knowledge that was gonna be on the internet. I knew those idiots were gonna re represent it and lie about shit. So I went out on my best interest here and I told you guys very transparently about what's going on with that, okay? Anything else that you hear is fucking horseshit, period. If I have stuff that I feel is important to my streams or my content, or that I need to reveal to you about my personal life, I will. But all this other shit, I'm so fucking tired of hearing it, I really am. I'm just done with it. I'm done addressing it. I'm done fucking putting up with it. Enough is fucking enough. My life has been systematically fucked up year after year by people fucking with me. I can't get sponsorships. I can't get all the same opportunities every other full-time streamer gets because of you pieces of fucking shit trying to ruin my life. Fuck you. I'm done putting up with your shit. I'm not entertaining for a single moment any more of your stupid bullshit. You could say anything you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. He already said he was going to set me up. He already started talking because remember last year he was talking about he wanted to interview me and when I told him I wasn't interested, then he revealed on his show, oh, I was going to try to set him up and we we're going to do jokes about WWE champions and shit. All right, so no, I'm not going to interview with him ever. I know, I know not to take him seriously because he was never serious. He's just an asshole. So Means, there you go. Gambling me, right? Oh, you see the real reason that Phil's falling apart is because of that. No, the real reason I'm falling apart is because I made bad financial decisions when I moved out here, okay? I made assumptions about what I was going to make on YouTube. They weren't correct. All right. Someone literally destroyed my channel with false copyright strikes, causing me to make even less money and become less prominent on YouTube. All of that fucked me over to the point where eventually I had to declare bankruptcy. Doomsy or Doons? 
to the Super Chat saying it was courageous of me to admit the WWE Champions today. Very proud of you. Now, hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't derail my stream. Lots of, let's not get on this topic, but I did not admit to, to anything that those dick fucks said about me in that game. All right? What I admitted on today's pre-stream was I do play some mobile games casually in my free time. And I even admitted there's more than one mobile game that I play casually in my free time. But and then I said, nothing they've said is new is true. None of it. It's all bullshit. It's the same nonsense that they regurgitate over and over. The things that they say about that mobile game is not true about me. Okay? So just because I play a few mobile games casually on the side does not mean any of the bullshit they've said and nothing they say, oh, this is his account stuff. It's all wrong. Okay? Let's clarify that. Wow. Cyberpunk boy xo does a 25 dollars super chat just to stupidly yell out about the stupid fucking wwe champions meme so thank you for 25 dollars you complete buffoon and now enjoy your permanent ban you dumb shit boy you're dumb see do you see do you see this how could i possibly spend another forty thousand dollars on wwe champions if you guys aren't supporting the stream i totally don't need to pay bills and shit with my money that's what I'm doing, according to the geniuses on the fucking internet. Uh, Phil spent forty thousand dollars on WWE champions and still does. So not only do I did I spend it, I still spend it. The same forty thousand. Yeah, fan of Lovecraft, you won't know this stuff yet. You, you have to get an eyeball for the memes and stuff. Yes, that stupid WWE champions mobile game meme. That's that's an instant ban. That's just idiots trying to fucking be annoying. That's a, and anyone touch talks about that. That's a. Instant removal. Why would I care if someone says something about WWE Champions or something? I don't. It, it's just the dumbest shit and it has no merit, so I don't care. It's so crazy the shit that people say. Do you not think that right now I'd like to do better for my family? Really? Like, I didn't get a honeymoon when I married my wife over two years ago. I didn't get, I don't get to do things for my family that would be nice. I don't get to improve my house and do things around here that would make life better for us. Right now, we're in the midst of the hottest summer ever in Washington, and I have two air conditioners. I can't even cool the fucking house down enough so that we're not sweating profusely. Oh, Phil plays WWE Champions, and he spends money on mobile games and blah, blah, blah. Like, what? The fuck does it have to do with anything? What are you even talking about? This is a conversation about a particular topic, and you are such a nut job. You interject yourself into the conversation and completely derail it with your conspiracy theory nut job bullshit. It's really like people with the tin hats on. They're jumping out. <laughs> you know the aliens and you're fucking, oh, did you know about QAnon conspiracies and all oh, the vaccine makes you go four arms? <laughs> like, what are you talking about, man? You're nuts. And these people are allowed to do this. They're allowed to act like that all over the internet. They're just fucking crazy, man. Right now, there's like five things. Every day, I look at my Twitter. This ridiculous thing, this ridiculous thing, this per thing about a, a viewer of yours, this thing about a moderator of yours, this thing about an application that you supposedly use, this thing about WWE champions, which never goes away, this thing about how you're lying to people and embezzling money, and this thing over here about this and that, and I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck anyone's talking about anymore. I don't pay attention to it. I don't. Bionic Janitor, 236, to me $4.20, says I got banned during the marathon while I went on break for saying... A WWE Champions meme. I didn't realize we're on zero tolerance today. I got off work. It's possible to be unbanned. Well, I don't know why you're doing that stupid meme to begin with. As you know, people try to slander me constantly. And that's one of the things that has persisted for like a fucking year. Over a year. People have made this shit up about me. And I'm tired of it. So, I don't blame a moderator for moderating you about it. I'm not, I'm not against it, but I'm not going to go crazy with these people with their memes and lies about me, all right? So, Reddit M Lady asked, with 50 bit cheers, did you spend more money on Supercard or WWE Champions back when you said you played it? I spent way more money on Supercard than I ever spent on WWE Champions. I spent a lot of money on Supercard for like maybe six to eight months. Remember I told you guys there was, the, there was an event that I went crazy on to try to get this rare ass card? And it took forever to get. And you had to constantly keep spending. Now, keep in mind, this was like 2015. This is a long time ago. Um, you had to basically keep spending um, in order to keep buying the recharges for the event. Like, you couldn't just keep playing the event. You would run out of energy. So you had to keep buying the recharge, buying the recharge, buying the recharge. And it wasn't like, oh, you bought like twice. It was like, you had to just constantly for 24 hours keep buying recharges to play in this event to earn the reward card. It was, it's a scam. It's a fucking scam. By the end of it, you get the card and you're like, wow, I got it. And you feel so stupid. You're like, man, I spent all that fucking time playing this game. I spent money on it. This is dumb as shit. 
you know? It really was. It was dumb. I felt stupid. So, it's not, you know, it's, I, in my opinion, that shit's not worth it. Some people may, again, if that's the kind of game you like and you play it, I'm not going to hate on you or whatever. But for me, like, I want to get, the, I'm going to get value out of it, but I'm not going to be constantly having to spend a million dollars to just play the fucking game. And All right, here's a moron. Hulk Hogan's huge penne saying, you can't say you never played WWE Champions. Because you said you played it in a 2017 video. That is correct. I've talked about it over the years many times that I said that I used to play it. And I have not played it in a long time. So enjoy your permanent ban and go fuck yourself. Mr. 2800 Hours Cheers says temperature remotely rubbing Oh, here we go. WWE Champions. Here you go. A fucking idiot. The meme you morons can't let go. You can go fuck off. Stupid idiot. I did it! Well, that sucked. Namba was dead. This fucking troll... Will not stop referencing WWE Champions today. Okay, dear dumb fuck, I don't play WWE Champions. Stop fucking spamming my stupid chat with nonsense when I'm trying to enjoy a game, you piece of shit. Then we got someone talking about WWE Champions to be a fucking idiot, so he's permanently banned. Hold on a second here. Like, we haven't had enough of that stupid meme months and months ago. This person has to bring it back. Mori Povich, now there's another one of you saying that the down from the Raptors account is your account on the WWE Champions account. Obviously, this guy's trying to piss me off. And he also says that I spent $40,000 on the game. See, here's where you're wrong. I spent $400,000 on the game. Sure I did. Fucking idiot. Anyway. No one cares about WWE Champions but my detractors. Why do they care? Because that's the gravy train for them. That's exactly why. It's the gravy train. It's, you know, 100% the gravy train for them. Okay, keep it rolling. Maybe someone to come down from the rafters. Oh, here we go again. Down from the rafters was some meme that has to do with stupid mobile games, I guess. Some idiot. Yeah, I, I recognize that from like two weeks ago or something. So, let me go ahead and stop this idiot from fucking bothering us for the rest of the day. Just another dunce. <laughs> Moron. Okay. okay. Now, fuck off. I don't have to hear from you anymore, stupid. Nonsense about me playing some mobile game. They can't even get the mobile game right. The game that I thought people were accusing me of playing was called like WWE Champions, but now people, I've been saying WWE Supercars, like they can't even get their, their fucking, their, their meme straight. They can't get their detractor meme straight and they've crossed the memes. Hello everyone, Dark Side Phil here with a very special announcement. This is so special that I'm actually making a separate video to do a little bit of an introduction for something that you guys have probably never believed would ever happen, but you have asked for repeatedly for years and years and years for the first time ever per your request in our recent discussion. I will be playing WWE Champions. And immediately jump into WWE Champions and I just start pulling for Hogan's and I don't stop until I get at least three or four. So sometimes it's pretty bad, let me tell you. And that's the kind of night I'm going to have tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because you supported the king. I'm going to pull for WWE Champions live on stream. The Hogans are about to come, brother. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Oh. 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 Got some shards of this fucking guy. Who is this? Oh. Uh, it says him. For the first time ever, per your request in our recent discussion, I will be playing DSP's Closet. No. Hint, hint. No. Hint, hint. No. Hint, hint. My stupid ass, dumb fuck, life wasting, loser, mouth drooling, brainless, dickless, ballless, soulless, mindless idiots of trolls have decided to stalk me every time that I play Cutie Pie Day. I just want you to think about this. There's a detractor meme about stakes. Stakes. They're using names like Porterhouse and T-Bone to jump on a steak meme. Yes, they actually think there is a steak meme worth repeating. These people actually made a running meme 
about steaks. Steaks. There's no steaks. There's no fucking steaks ever. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, and you need to stop brainwashing yourself into believing it. There's no... There must be steaks when you play. I can't wait to see Phil get his ass with the Street Fighter today. And he's gonna lose all his ranking points. I can't wait to... Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No adult would care about your dumb meme about steaks. 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 There's like three or four people who are actually excited and engaged with Street Fighter and trying to talk about it, and it's being lost in a drown... A drowning of fucking discussion about steaks and barbecue. The moment that some moron says steak explosion on DSP stream, you say... competition with anyone. You're fooling yourself into this weird parallel dimension of people care if Phil wins or loses. Nobody does. All people want to do is make fun of me anyway. Assholes. Imagined rank points are still stakes. No, they are not. They're imagined. They mean nothing. Yo, it is drama. You like drama. Rank this drama. What are you, four? There are no stakes in any game I've ever played on this channel. Zero. Zero. There's zero stakes. There are zero stakes. Zero. Stakes. The moment this is a moron, there's a steak explosion on this screen. You say, There's no stakes in anything that I play. Nothing means anything in any game. There's no stakes. I'm not a pro player. None of that ever mattered. Never. Ever. There's no stakes in anything that I play. Nothing means anything. Anything. There's no stakes. fucking jersey, sweating it out, traveling the country. There's no prize at the end if I win or if I do poorly. Why is no one here talking about Street Fighter on a fucking Street Fighter stream? People talk about stakes and shit. There's no fucking stakes. Stakes. I'm going to say it one more time. Nothing means anything. 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 The vortex is separated by two groups. The dense that follow DSP and listen to his every word, and the detractors, who point and laugh at his actions. These are their stories. got banned. He says that he's been a viewer for 12 years and for some reason he keeps getting banned because of his name. It seems like your name is just a problematic name. <laughs> Nick, Rikita got bit by that coke, I ain't about me, it was a tip I gotta get up and stretch and go let up a belt every time that I guzzle a sip Upgrading my setup, you know that I'm better, my RGB slid up, they coming and lit Call me a pig and I'm banning you quicker than if he was playing me Street Fighter 6 Nick, Rikita got bit by that coke, I ain't about me, it was a tip I gotta get up and stretch and go let up a belt every time that I guzzle a sip Upgrading my setup, you know that I'm better, my RGB slid up, they coming and lit Call me a pig and I'm banning you quicker than if he was playing me Street Fighter 6 I got some peoples, they open they wallets when I be asking 
asking him for all of the tips I got some cripples that give me their nickels And all of these bitches be calling them dents This shit is simple, just give me your money So I can get pummeled in Street Fighter 6 I was slapping and smacking my stick Like a regarded kid at that time I was jacking my dick They say I snort and I act like a pig And I'm burping and laughing and acting and shit I'm going after these tips like a madman Or like I'm a cracking attacking the ship And you know that I'm laughing My bottom lip sagging While I be having a whole bottle of gin And I think that I probably honestly Might have been wild to be something I probably am Local. I got a hold in these dead heads Eating their crayons, they bright red They give me their money, it's honestly funny They still gon' be tipping when I'm dead Office getting too hot when it's sunny You mouth fooling dummy, sure ain't getting no best I'm tripping down like the times I was getting down With Rambo on that bed duh, duh, duh. <clears throat> Now, guys Playing with Brian and he's really trying to talk to me While I laugh like a goat I'm staying quiet, if not till I'm lying So I can hide on my seething and cope Face his friend and I said in the end that his corner pattern is why I'm not winning Google, Get it confronted about it and I am stunned Respond with no I didn't Not time. giving no clammy any rematches Call him on scrubby flow charters and spammers I stop by them bashing and keys of a mashing loss is a massive controller I'm smashing developers make it and then I will trash it Call them all out even serve me as I can Can't pay attention waiting for door dashing my skinny for sure to conceal the sight If you haven't heard I'm an inventor I invented being a big beggar They gonna pay me them pigs better I got two big bills I'm a big debtor A Hawaiian shirt or a kid sweater switching up a bitch about this weather. I treat my viewers like investors, but there's no returns on a pig ever. I'm swollen with snot and with my pretensions. I can't even keep straight all on my deceptions. I will say I hate drama while I am flexing. I can blame bad behavior on my depression. I have trouble maintaining all my erections while I beat myself off. I would try ejection, but there wasn't a loaded to fight detection, so I guess I don't need any contraception. Stimming like hell, I'm a sway madly. Though I grandstand, I'm a play badly. Everyone's either a pattern player or a random, and you're banned if you play cammy. Dicker said I have a fake family. I'll go on a rant with my take gladly. Derek is here. I'm a play daddy, my DNA shabby. As when gold got bit by a cockroach, that dude is gross, lives in a sty. But he is not the same sort as the king of the snorts, the filthiest piggy am I. I'll tell you why, I beat him and don't even try. I'm digging shit out of my eye, picking my ear like an ogre and wiping while low I see's hoping I open my fly. Not today, kid. But today we gon' teach him a lesson. Phil be raising our viewers that type of computers, but pray that they tip him a blessing. Hawaiian shirt for the dressing. If he don't get gifts, then you know that he's stressing. IRS coming, don't test him. Check him. Got back in the corner, they about to arrest him. <laughs> Cut out the bullshit and all the finessing. Ain't gotta do what I say, but I'm suggesting. Look at your channel, you only regressing. You worry about wrestling, you should be investing. Ain't you like 50? You should be testing another form of content. Cause the shit you put out now only gonna die down. Nigga need to lock in. You blaming detractors. Saying every vid we do, we take you out of context. Claiming YouTube got no street smarts. Nigga, where you from? It ain't no projects. You don't know shit about no Pyrex. Darren shit and hoes with your dialects. Counting from skinny to biggie for messing with piggies. He caught the feel side effects. Who's next? Jasper. Won't be long till we calling him Casper. Scamming your viewers with filthy maneuvers. You know you a sneaky little bastard. Street Fighter disaster. Broken joysticks. Give us laughter. All of us know at the end of the day that changing it won't be a factor. Y'all remember the chapter? Back when Phil was hating on reactors? Look at him now, the snoring locale. If you pay him, you'll get your bit faster. Empty your wallet, little bastard. Matter of fact, give him your whole bank password. That's what he wants, only thing that he's after. Biting your wallet with teeth like a raptor. When that we got a capture, he took tail when he see attackers. In the field, it's line up the Packers. Hired on hits like a contractor. He getting killed by rappers. This nigga born like paint, lacquer. You couldn't show me a channel that's whacker. Mr. D E N T Trapper, uh. Who's back? Back again. Dave is back. <coughs> Tell a dent. <coughs> Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Ouch my back. Ack, ack, ack. Wait. But <coughs> where'd everybody go? Cat. Um, where, where'd everybody go? Hello? It's awfully quiet in here. Oh, guess who's back? Guess who's back? Oh my god, does this ever end? Are you kidding me? This is how to play the game!
my god. Sound good? When am I taking my time off, folks? It's gonna start December 5th. That's kind of what's gonna happen, folks. Alright, and I'll be back on the 11th, and then when I come back on the 12th full time, boom! Resident Evil 7 DLCs, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on the Xbox One. I mean, there's a lot going on, alright? A lot. Now, I have an announcement. Here's the special announcement that I have to make today. I never didn't give any precursor to this. No one knew I was gonna announce this today on stream. mic has been on the whole time oh my god the mic is on well you guys heard nothing i was downstairs getting drinks you heard absolutely nothing but i do have an announcement you may be wondering in particular right now right now i mean let's face it right now i just revealed that i'm in kind of financial difficulties right um because of shit that's out of my control. You know, everything that you guys have done this year, your contributions, have put me in a position where I was able to afford everything. And I was like, man, if I can just keep going how I'm going, I'm good, right? You know, I'm not going to have any issues. And then, boom, this stupid tax issue comes up that I have nothing to do with, right? Uh, it sucks. And some people have questioned, well, gee, why would Phil be taking time off in early December when he knows what's going on, right? Why is Phil taking this time off in early December when... You know, he should be trying to raise as many funds as possible and stream as much as possible, etc., etc. Well, honestly, folks, the first reason, this is the God's honest truth, is because even as much as I need your support and as much as I need... I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. To be streaming and making money. I need... Money's time away for physical and mental recuperation. <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you guys gotta remember something. I don't take days off right? Most people who have a job, you don't work seven days a week every day, right? You at least get a day or two where you're not working and you get some kind of recuperation time. I don't get that. I'm here every single day talking constantly on stream. My throat is all worn out. Again, it is definitely from this hardcore gaming season, uh, how busy I've been every day, double streams. Keep in mind, it's not like it was a year or two ago where I was doing edited content and I got to rest my voice. It's not just me streaming, 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 streaming. My voice gets worn out, man. My body gets physically, you know, worn out from doing this constantly, all right? Mentally, you know, needing time away from my, my job, I need it every once in a while. And <laughs> Unbelievable. So far, the way that I've been doing it, if you remember, I took some time off in July, then in October, and now I'm taking it in December. It's been working. Like, I get that time to recoup, and then I come back full force, right? <laughs> if you guys remember, it was early, uh, it was early in October, all right, where I took those days off, and I came back, and immediately I went into Shadow of War, Evil Within 2. You know what I mean? I started immediately doing those things, and because I had had that time away, uh, you know... Because I had that time away, it, it, it helped me, you know, significantly, all right? Oh my god, excuse me. Oh! In addition to that fact, all right, there's another reason why I'm taking this time off in December. In fact, there's been another reason why I've been taking off these periods of time um, since, you know, the summer at these set intervals. And the reason is because I've been taking that time to spend some time with my girlfriend. What? And boom, immediately a bomb has been dropped. Everyone's probably like, oh, what the fuck? What? You're doing what with who and how and what's what? Who the what? <laughs> and I'm not a children's entertainer. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I know many of you were surprised. Phil the faggot. When I revealed to you what was going on with me back on Thanksgiving. All right. And you're like, how could Phil have kept that secret? Uh, for two and a half months and not talked about it, right? Well, I've had an even better kept secret. Alright, I have. I've had an even better kept secret uh, this year. Is that uh, basically since the summer, you know, I've been seeing someone on and off. And it's, it's certainly not as frequently as I would like. Uh, because as you guys know, you know my work schedule. I work my ass off. You have to be brain dead fucking stupid to believe that. All right, and I'm here every single day, which means I get very little free time. The free time I get is in the middle of the night. Sorry, most girls don't have the middle of the night to do stuff. They're asleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I've been dating someone uh, for months, actually, and seeing her on and off, uh, and I haven't had any consistent time to really, you know, 
to spend with her. And it's really these times off that I've been taking, these breaks, where I get to spend some significant time with her. All right? Um, and so, this coming break that I have scheduled, I'm going to be doing all kinds of Christmas stuff uh, with my girlfriend. Which means putting up the Christmas tree, you know, decorating the house. As you guys know, I've already announced, I'm going to go out and I'm going to be looking for Christmas sweaters and Christmas liquor and all that kind of stuff. Alright? So that's real, we're going to be doing all that stuff together. In fact, it was back in October that she was the person who I was going around with to all the Halloween stores. And she helped me pick out my Halloween costume, Ezio Auditori. So, I, in a lot of ways, I actually owe uh, the, the, great, the great pick of what that costume was to her. Because she really helped me out. Alright? Now... The one thing that I'm going to say up front, folks, because I know this is a bombshell announcement. Oh my god, immediately. Do you know the people who are watching the stream just for negative reasons? They're running to the fucking internet. They're scouring all, everything. Phil must have shown her in something. Phil must have mentioned her in something. Phil must have done... No. I mean, I literally 100%, okay, I have been leaving this as a secret on purpose because I knew that if I did announce it, you know, months and months ago, that it would, oh my god, Phil is a girlfriend, you know... The other thing is, you know, she's a person who very much does not want to have a public persona. Now, she knows who I am. She knows I'm a YouTuber. She knows all about me. You know, um, it's not like this was just someone that I met out of nowhere and she had no idea who I was or anything like that. She's very well aware of who I am and all of that. But she does not want to be involved with all the online drama. She has no aspirations to go out and make, you know, a YouTube channel or a Twitch stream or anything like that. She doesn't want to have uh, a public persona. She very much wants to have her own life outside of being a part of mine, all right? And that's why I have not mentioned anything up to this point because I literally didn't want any idiot to try to go out there. I mean, ju just think about, folks. I mean, let's be honest here. Think about my last relationship with Leanna, right? My ex. And how, you know, she did very much have a public persona. Everything she did, she wanted to do her own YouTube channel. She had her own business online and everything. And just think, even though she never really ex exposed a lot of private stuff about her life, how much about her family and everything was thrown on the internet just because people could find out, right? I mean, we were at the point where my ex's uh, brother was getting married and I very, really quickly mentioned it in a, in a video or a vlog earlier on in the year, letting everyone know that I might be attending the wedding later in the year, and then I never mentioned it again, all right, because of, you know, reasons, the fact that we were afraid that if we had gone, because that was the year that we had gotten swatted, okay, we were worried that if we went to this friggin' wedding that some asshole would try to swat it, or they would otherwise do something to prank it and ruin this wedding, okay, and that's why we didn't go, and I never mentioned it, all right, I never mentioned it at all, Again, yet, yeah, look what happened. People not only found out the date, the time, the location of the fucking wedding, they publicly posted it on the internet for people to say, oh, go ahead and troll it. And, on top of all that, then they spun it to say that I forcibly forced my ex to not attend this wedding so I could stay home and play Fallout 4 and make money. I did something wrong and I'm a horrible person. All of that was literally fabricated, right? So just think, based off a tiny bit of little real world knowledge, right? What these fucking sicko people who fuck with me have done in the past. So learning from that past, alright, learning from that past, I very much, very much learned that this is something that I should keep to myself, alright? However, you know, being that some things have already come to light publicly, alright? Um, the fact that you guys now know about my financial situation with this tax situation, okay, um, because I revealed it on Thursday, a lot of questions have arisen. You know, one of the questions is, well, why is Phil taking this time off in December if he knows that he needs to make as much money as possible? And, you know, the answer here, quite frankly, is I already had scheduled this time to be with my girlfriend and do this holiday themed stuff because there's no other opportunity to do it. You know, as you know, guys, as we get closer to Christmas and everything... Everyone gets super busy. I'll be super busy. And incidentally, she's going to be super busy. So, you know, what we decided is let's, let's you know, have a celebration earlier on in the month when both of us would have time to do it. And I actually scheduled it for this one week when there's no new releases. So it's perfect. Okay. Um, so that's number one. But the other thing, folks, is that the question everyone's on everyone's mind, well, why does Phil still need this big house? Why does Phil need to stay in this house in Washington? That's beyond his, what he needs, you know, as a person. And he's just standing on pride that he doesn't want to lose this house that he bought. And he doesn't. No, the bottom line is, folks, that, you know, I have a girlfriend who I've been dating for months. And 
we're both, you know, mature adults. And I'm not a whiny baby. I'm a mature adult. The point that we have our own lives, but we've been talking about our future together. And we've been talking about, gee, what would we like to do? Maybe eventually, if things keep going well, we'd like to move in together. And I'm like, well, I got the perfect house for it. The problem is, I don't know if I can keep the house because of this bullshit with the taxes going on. I'm nervous. I'm really, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm going to need your guys' help. I really am. I'm going to need your support. I need it. No lies because I need the money right now with this whole tax situation I'm in. I need the money. The money helps me out tremendously. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. And it fucking sucks because, um, really, honestly, you know, back in the summer before the tax issue arose and we started dating, you know, things were going great. And we were like, wow, this is amazing. If this keeps going this well, maybe we can move in together and, you know, we can do all this stuff. And then, boom, all of a sudden, you know, in September, October, the tax issue hits. And now it's like, now the future is completely fucking uncertain, right? People are so gullible. People are such fucking sheep with this shit. Seriously. Now you might be asking, well, why is Phil revealing this now? Um, well... Ever since I revealed on Thursday about what's going on with this house and everything, and the fact that the taxes are an issue and everything, um, obviously there's been all these questions about why do I need the house and stuff like that. But in addition, you know, I've been talking with her every day, and she's like, you know, I feel kind of isolated. Even though, even though she, like I said, she does not want a public persona. She does not want that. She at least feels that to know that if you guys knew that she existed, it would make more sense in the perspective, the big picture perspective, right? <sighs> Because now your kind of guys are finally kind of see the big picture for the first time ever. And now it's kind of, the pieces are kind of falling into place. You know what I mean? A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way. And hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar. And lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. It makes sense now. Um... So now you're like, ah, okay, I get it. So now Phil needs to keep the house because he's dating this girl he's been seeing. And obviously if he has to move, then he can't see the girl anymore. And also if he keeps the house, then maybe eventually, you know, they could be in the, living in together. And then they could, you know, both pay for the house. See? It makes sense now. And that's why she kind of wanted me to talk about it today. Because it now makes everything kind of formulate into a, it makes sense. And, let's face it, uh, she's kind of been a secret. And, you know, it kind of makes her feel a little bad. Because when you're kept secret, right? It kind of means like, oh, she's the dirty little secret, you know? She's not. But at the same time, we didn't want to reveal anything until we were ready. So, so there you go. Now, by the way, no, you're not getting her name. You're getting no information about her whatsoever. Zero. Just what I've told you right now is all you're getting. Until maybe at some time in the future, things change and maybe we're in a better position. All right? You know, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, if we can get out of this situation with the house, if I can pay all these, somehow find a way to pay all these taxes, all right? Then, in 2018, yeah, things could be potentially much better. And maybe if she moves in with me, and we start a life together, alright, um, then, then, okay, if she's here living with me, and obviously, you know, you're gonna see me during work hours or whatever, but of course, maybe there'll be some vlogging and stuff that I start doing if she's here with me, like DSP tries it and stuff, where she's gonna be in it, then it makes sense that, you know, yes, there may be more information revealed in a later date. But for now, none of that will be revealed. Nothing. WHY AM I TOXIC?! There you go, folks. That is the truth about everything that's been going on. Now you've got the bigger picture. Now I've got even more of an incentive. Now you know I have even more of an incentive, even more of a desire to... Fix this whole tax situation, save the house, you know, and stay where I am so that I could potentially have a, a much better future for myself versus moving back to Connecticut, being a solo bachelor in a piece of shit condo, Terrible weather. You know what I mean? Greed is massively strong. Anything for this, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> is, my new, is my new girlfriend Vidar? Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, th this kind of shit needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. I'm gonna do a ton of shout outs in just a moment because everyone went crazy with cheers once I announced that I had a girlfriend, of course. Some people are just fucking idiots. What else can I say? You gotta be an idiot. Shout out! <laughs> then when the stream started, Ratchet Fan did a $5 tip and I'm $5 richer, so thanks, moron. Rinkdu did a 500-bit cheer. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. 
Congratulations for giving me another $2 tip. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. Congratulations on the new lady. She's a lucky woman to be with you. What? <clears throat> Devour. Devour. Snake. And I'm not a children's entertainer. Did a 25 bit cheer and says, How can some awkward chubby guy like you pull multiple women, but an attractive alpha guy like myself is still a virgin? This is some bullshit. I think these are kind of questions you need to ask yourself, bro. You probably, first of all, you shouldn't be admitting to everyone that you're a virgin, right? Very embarrassing. No, it's not. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin, by the way. Um, some people are like, oh my god. Oh my god, I made it to 20 years old, I still haven't gotten laid? Listen, I got laid way before I was 20, and it was no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be butt-fucked, trust me. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. So, it's not that big of a deal, alright? I like how you try to sly insult me here and say I'm an awkward chubby guy. Uh, if you may not notice, people like me or else I wouldn't have any following. Obviously, there's something about me that people find attractive. What? All right. And uh, that's probably why I'm able to find women. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that's probably why. Huh? All right. Let's, uh, let's jump in here, folks. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was. Oh my god. 
Sound good? I'm back from my time off. I had almost a week away from live streaming. By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So, hint, hint. Save the house. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. From vlogging, from gameplay, in order to celebrate the holidays a little early with my girlfriend... <laughs> We had a ton of fun. We did so much fun stuff together. It was an amazing, you know, five days of just constant holiday-themed stuff and decorating and so much fun. Um, I actually have already filmed a vlog where I walked through my entire house showing off all the stuff that we decorated and did over the course of uh, this week. That vlog will be going live this week right here on the King of Hate vlog. So if uh, you're very interested in maybe the stuff that we did, you're going to want to check that out. Yes, I have fully decorated the office. And by the way, I would like to say an extra special thanks while I was away to those who checked out all the new videos that I did make live on DSP Gaming while I was not live streaming. It's very much appreciated that you guys still came out to check out all the videos, especially when I wasn't there daily to put out new content for you. At least there was some, you know, revenue coming in from, uh, you know, kind of the, the residuals from, from YouTube and the like. Um, and also, I do want to say thank you. Some people actually went out of their way to go to my, my Twitch page my Twitch channel, and to cheer and actually sub and tip me. I even got a few tips during the time that I had off. Thank you guys for that. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Thanks for the money, dummies, because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. I hate to say it, Patreon, yup, they're following in the footsteps of YouTube. I'm not a whiny baby. And whenever someone follows in the footsteps of YouTube, it means you fucked up. And I'm sorry to say that during the holiday season, I'm doing my best to maintain a positive demeanor and be happy, but I gotta be, you know, straight talk matter of fact with you guys. Patreon has instituted a change by which they are making it more expensive for people to pledge. Now, what I mean by that is I guess what they're doing is they're trying to take as many of the fee, the transaction fees and the like that have to do with pledging. And they're putting it upon the pledgees rather than the patrons. Let me explain what I mean. Okay, not, excuse me, the, the content creator. So, for example, I have a Patreon right now. You know, I want to pledge five bucks to Phil. You pledge five bucks to me. Great. It counts as a five buck pledge, but you, I don't actually get five bucks from that. What happens is Patreon takes a cut. There's a transactionary cut, depending on how you paid. If you paid for your bank account, credit card, etc., all the, a cut comes out of it. And then finally, I get a final amount after it. It may be like four dollars and twenty cents or whatever. Who knows what it is? But basically, I get a cut of everything that's pledged to me on Patreon. <laughs> From what I'm to understand, what Patreon is now saying is they're trying to take most of the fees and transactionary things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about and put it on you, the pledgee. Meaning, oh, I want to pledge $5 to Phil. Well, if you put $5, you're going to say, well, we're really going to charge you $5.50. And you're like, huh? Well, I just want to pledge 5 bucks. Well... It's not going to be easy anymore. Basically, what play Patreon is going to do is push the fees onto the pledgees rather than onto me, like the content creator, the person you're pledging to. They're, they're saying the reason they're doing it is because they want us, the content creators, to get the most out of Patreon. So they're guaranteeing us 95%, meaning out of everything that's pledged to me, I will get 95% of it every month. Right now, it's weird. Right now, some months, I'll get... oh. You know, $1,250 pledged to Phil, and I get like $1,100 and change. Huh? And then another one, the same amount, oh, $1,250, Phil made $1,200. Huh? And it varies because it depends on how you pay the transaction fees via how you pay, etc. And apparently what Patreon's Patreon is trying to do is make it more consistent for us so we know on a monthly basis what we're making. I guess what's been going on is there's been a mass complaint that people are complaining. It's so fluctuating every month, we can't even figure out how can we pay our bills or whatever when we don't know what we're going to make any month. It could go up or down or up or down. Even if we're making technically the same amount of pledges, it's varying every month. Now listen, I totally get that. For me, Patreon is a supplementary income. What do I mean by that? I mean that Patreon is not my primary source of income. It's a It helps tremendously. It, it's money that goes to a good cause. I mean <laughs> Unbelievable. 
all the improvements I made in my office over the years, including this microphone I'm talking into, the soundproofing phone behind me, the capture software, everything I'm doing is all paid for by Patreon, uh, co- co- you know, donations and, and, and contributions. Um, but month to month, yes, the Patreon stuff helps pay the bills, but it's not the primary way I pay my bills. So for me, oh no, this month I made slightly less because the transaction fees were more. It doesn't really affect me that hugely. No lies because I need the money right now with this whole tax situation I'm in. I need the money. Other people I could see if that's their primary source of income, it could, all right? So I haven't asked for anything like this. I think it's kind of silly, but the thing I don't like about this, Patreon apparently flipped a switch while I was on time off and said, oh, well, it's just on now. So now if you pledge to me this month, you have to pledge more money in order to actually get the less. So for example, let's say you wanted to pledge $5 this month because you want to get in on this monthly goal of the Mel Gear Solid Redemption Run, right? So you want to pledge five bucks to me because you want to be able to, to vo- uh, uh, vote on which game I'm going to be playing, Metal Gear Solid 2 or 3. Well, it's not five bucks. It's five bucks plus whatever the transaction fees are per what method you're choosing to pay. That's what you have to end up pledging in order to actually make the $5 category. And I have no control over it, folks. There's no way for me to fix that. It just is what it is. Patreon said it. We're going to change it. For me, obviously, the major concern right now, folks, this is being real talk with you. I need to raise a lot of money this month. I need to raise a lot of money this month because I need to pay these back taxes. I know you're lying. It's not even my fault, but it's reality, okay? So I need to raise as many funds as possible. I'm trying to get a drive on Patreon this month. Let's hit the, the stretch goal this month. So I'll do both Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 in January. Oh, by the way, if you're going to pledge to me this month, it costs more than ever. You see what I mean? How What great time. And at all times, Patreon decides to do this during the holiday season when a lot of people are feeling giving and maybe want to pledge to more people than they normally do. And now, oh, now we're going to change the whole process. It's ridiculous. Why am I toxic? I still need your help this month on Patreon. Like, seriously, that's why I made this the goal. The Metal Gear Solid Redemption runs. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. I need your help. I need to raise as much as I possibly can. If we can hit that stretch goal this month, by the end of this month, I'll play both Metal Gear Solid games starting on January 1st. Oh my god. Like, I'm just so tired of this stupid shit. And I really want to do the event. But I don't want people to be deterred. Oh, so now if I have to pledge to fill some more, well, fuck that. And then everyone pulls their plate. I can't have that. You know, this is so important to me. This is a month where literally I could get screwed over. Because Patreon decided to do this ridiculous sweeping change without actually asking anyone if they wanted it. I am really angry about that. And by the way, folks, if you didn't get wind, I already talked about this last week. Coming in 2018, I'm not using Patreon like this anymore. In fact, now that Patreon's making these negative changes, I refuse to use them like that. What I'm going to be doing is... My monthly events are going to be based more on Twitch-based things, like how many subs can I get on Twitch this month, right? In, adi- you know, in addition to other factors regarding Twitch, that's going to determine if I do these monthly events, like marathons and the like, or, or game playthroughs, special game playthroughs, and then people who pledge to my Patreon will be able to mold those events. So, for example, if I hit a certain number of a goal of total subs in the month of January on Twitch, I'll do a special event, but those who pledge $5 or more on Patreon will be nominating and voting on things to take place during that event. Get it? Huh? It's uh, please don't let these new changes on Patreon, the fact that it's going to cost you a little bit extra money to pledge to me what you used to, please don't let that deter you from pledging this month. That's your fault. You created the monster, you unleashed the monster, and now your complaint is, well, the monster's too powerful to control. Well, fuck you. That's your fault. I just, I literally just saw my girlfriend leave. And I'm like, I have no idea when I'm going to see her again. Because she doesn't live, by the way, a lot of people speculate, she does not live here with me in Seattle. She has to travel to get here. And <clears throat> with my current situation, taxes and everything, I can't, aff- you know, I don't even know, number one, affording a trip of me going to see her, her coming to see me. Number two, the fact that eventually, yeah, we've been talking about it. We, you know, we've been seeing each other for, for almost six months now. We really, you know, care for each other. And we want to maybe possibly in the future move in together. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to be in this house. And, you know, this house has been amazing. We've been here doing stuff together. We're like, man, wouldn't it be awesome if she had a job here and she was contributing with income and we were able to do stuff together or whatever. And, we're, and then we're like, man, we can't plan for any of that. It's just like, fuck. It's just like our whole future is uncertain, hinging on the stupidity of this fucking tax situation. Oh, I really hate you, but I cannot live without you if I try. I can't imagine life without you, ice cream. Uh, my girlfriend's supposed to be, uh, home by now. Okay, she's supposed to be home by now. She's not. Um, because of excessive delays from airlines today, uh, she is now stuck overnight at an airport 
Uh, they cancel. Well, they didn't cancel her flight. They, her her flight was so ridiculously delayed that there was no way she was going to make her layover flight. And now she's stuck in an airport that she's only been to once before. Overnight, the next flight for her to leave is 8 a.m. Lol. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Big ups for hanging out. A real quick, real quick announcement here. We have a new card to debut, and this one is from Soho Shuffle in the house. And this is say hello to the sneak diss. And I know not everyone agrees with all my calls out for sneak disses, but this one is one you have to agree was one. Uh, just a reminder, when Philip was on the Kino Casino, they chose to play a clip of Ethan Ralph jerking off on stream, and then Triple P proceeded to ask Philip for his expert opinion. I don't know what other proof I need to give you, but that was a sneak diss of the highest order, and therefore, it is earned its right. It has earned its right to have a card here. Big ups, everybody, for hanging out. And let's get back to the action. Come on, good luck. It's in the pool right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, what I'm hoping is that the airline, because they fucked up so bad. I mean, her flight is de was delayed. Uh, by over an hour. Uh, I'm hoping they're gonna accommodate her and maybe even give her a free hotel room or something. What? Man, I'm stupid. Because that'd All be pretty right. fucked Thank up that they make the mistake. I appreciate and that. then they tell her, oh, by the way, we're not gonna do anything for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'd be real fucked up. Oh, go, go sleep in that chair for eight hours, you know? Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I prefer a penne. Oh. Easy to eat. Oh. Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was. What the hell is this thing? Oh, okay. I stopped. Now what do I do? How do I get past this thing? I don't see a go sign anywhere. I might as well just put my car in park, so you're not gonna go anywhere. How do I get past this thing? There's there's nowhere to go. I mean, look, this asshole didn't stop. He just kept going. Now there's some asshole behind me. Why even come in this way if you're just gonna stop? You can't go! Now all of a sudden, the camera has been turned back at him. And he's like, wait, no. Wait, what do you mean, wait, no? It's your turn, bro. This beat is so Kino. About to go medieval. Honest. American tech reviewer. He's a fucking pita. Discord server oh. of unspeakable evil. Gooning out to cuties. Then sweep it up. My veto. Your bank accounts. Approaching zero. So you hacked into Jay's PC. And took his Niro. Your parents take care of your kids. On the D-Lo. Don't listen to your mom. Because what the fuck does she know? <laughs> make believe making beats in your parents' home. But make believe don't mean shit on the streets of Rome. Manic episode. Now you feel incredible. Do something regrettable. Maybe something federal. Your drop. Box is full of photos that are questionable. Don't give a fuck. Time to slam another end of it. Playing Elden Ring and smoking dope. Stress by an iPad from Best Buy so you could cope. I would tell you to jump, but you'd break the rope. It's because you're too fat. Now you get the joke. This goes over your head like evil Knievel. You're acting kind of emo. Cry harder like a baby. Gambino. You're just a childish capo. But I am Gambino. Don't you know who I am? I won more place than Eva. Time to bring up another Zeno. Say hello to the little friend of Pacino. This is Vegas. Son. I'll send you back to Reno. There's only room for one mob in this casino. It's recording. What's West Side? <laughs> Why are we doing that? I don't know. <laughs>
Take it. Take it. Sure. It's your showcase. Is. Well, um, I, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I'm, uh, I created a uh, channel, Howard Showcases, and. Uh, so what showcases? Yes. What are you showcasing? Showcasing you show a lot of things. What are you showing these people? Showcasing cinema, uh, illegal movies, <laughs> porno. What was that legal on YouTube? What? No, that's legal on YouTube. I tried. It's you tried. It's a copyright strike and a half right there. Uh, damn it. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to showcase like different tutorials and um, you know places to go. <laughs> people tutorials. to see. People to do. <laughs> Whoa. Well, yeah. People to do. So while um, you're seeing. With the blessing of uh, DSP, Rambo, and uh, yeah, as both of you the guys. Is, uh, ooh, Thank you. Uh, On your way. Oh. <laughs> yep, I will be making this channel. And uh, with that being said, uh, can I come on the show and showcase things? Oh yeah, I have things to showcase. I have you many do? things to showcase. <laughs> <laughs> What can, we, uh, that, what can we expect from the some legal, some not so legal? What can we expect first from the channel? Um, I will I will do a tutorial on how we stream on Don't Blow This, and uh, I'm going to try to do a new segment uh, mm -hmm. with the help from uh, DSP and uh, Rambo called Howard's Showcases Cribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cribs. I didn't know about this either. <laughs> Thanks for that advanced sign-off that you got. That we yeah, we're doing that. I guess. <laughs> Howard's crib. Uh, I will be going to, uh, to both uh, of these guys' houses. To Babies are Us to review the cribs there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be going to these guys' houses and uh, showing you a little bit about themselves and their personal lives. Whoa. It's not pretty, man. I don't Maybe know. It's not pretty. Come on. I think people know too much about my personal no, life. They true. actually, we should scale it back a little bit. <laughs> I'll wear a, a burqa, a full body burqa while you do the video. Burka, burka. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that being said. Well, well, you're, well, you're doing this thing with beating with Howard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you're going to take the camera to the, the top. <laughs> You give bathroom tips. Oh, I don't want. I don't French want people. French bubble bath. I don't want people to see my rubber oh, ducky. Okay. All right. So that's it. So uh, with that being wow. said, we will sign off. And uh, thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again. Thanks for subscribing, first time viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Devour you cowards, pig roach hour Can't stand in your name brand, broke down shower Your pre-stream self glaze lasts the whole hour Your wife stone looks glazed, so why's her face sour? Call me John, yo, because I'm going Rambo Turning Jasper to Casper when I hit my floor Stop the show, on jet time pesos Know you roll with a wheelchair bankroll Call me Cat, yo, because I'm feeling pretty fat Turned on it is the haters when I strap the chest to stop the Show Argentine pesos Darren, no, hit it Then with the dark side flow Because stacks of cash couldn't save your soul Patrol the borderline personal hole Unbox facts, write lightning poems I'll give your girl a pill and we'll leave you home Call me John, yo Because I'm going Rambo Turning Jasper to Casper When I hit my flow Stop the show Argentine pesos Know you roll with my wheelchair bankroll Call me Cat, yo Because I'm feeling pretty fat Turn donators to haters when I slap the chance to stop the show Margin time pesos Terry, no Hit it, then with the dark side flow Phil here, and welcome to another edition of the Truth Full Cape video game review series, where I give you maximum bullshit and minimum truth when it comes to today's latest video game releases. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And the first thing you have to realize is that I've evolved as a person since I started on YouTube. In China, they say rashness brings success to few. In China, they say Chiki Chang Wang Charlie Chan Chika Chaka Chaka Cha. Shut the fuck up. I don't care what they say in China. <laughs> this is what happens when you let the Jews do whatever they want. <laughs> You've let the Jews overrun space and now look at this. Their greed has had the artifact turn everyone into necromorphs. I've evolved as a person since I started on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you to all my fans. You gave me money. Thank you, you fucking worthless humans, for the fuse. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. <laughs> uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. Okay. It doesn't even make sense. Why did it hit me? Oh, I can't block. I couldn't block. Are you kidding me? Shut up. Oh, random fucking sweep. I couldn't block and he wins with chip damage. Pick fucking stupid. Face. A counter pick. Dude, this guy's cheating. There's no way on earth. Shut he up. He counter picked. It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. The entire round was because I couldn't fucking do any moves online. Can't block. Tried to block, he jumped back. Look at this, I can't do anything. This is amazing, the level of quality of this online play. Now it's funny how the first round I beat his ass and all of a sudden the second and third rounds none of my moves happen or work. No blocking, no special attacks. Notice that, right? How that's funny? That's called cheating and that's what everyone does online, which is why you shouldn't fucking play online. A bun, what the fuck? I couldn't, I couldn't block. Dude, this guy's cheating. Learn how to fucking play a game and be an honorable fucking player. So if you got trolls online, just keep screaming. Re It's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Good idea. Sorry, that is incorrect. Try again. Hmm, a fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong.
a fine course for yourself, son. Bravo. Bad idea. Hold A. Match the flags to the corresponding province, state, or country. What? Oh, fuck me. Hmm. A fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Try again. Uh, I don't know anything about Europe. Fuck. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh my god. Well, Paris, I don't know what the Paris of. Uh, oh, Italy, it's telling you. France, this is France. <laughs> Fucking Finland? Oh, I got Germany. Heavens! What I don't know, I don't know what the United like. Kingdom is. Italy, I know what Italy looks like. It looks like a boot. Try again. What? That's bullshit. That's exactly what I did. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Hmm. A Fuck. fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Heaven! I don't know these at all. I never gave you that idea. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Or Spain. I knew that. Ireland is one of these. Hmm. A fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Okay. Norway? I don't know these at all, man. Try again. Heavens! I don't know. I don't know my geography. Fuck. Hmm. Wow. But I'm afraid it's wrong. I didn't have a clue. I don't know Europe. <laughs> How the fuck would I know Europe? I live in North America, you asshole. That wasn't fair at all. The end. Fastest. You feel bang no tax cheat. You the cash down move in this great country. Now my man feel it be your damn tax cheat. It's so fucking your only feet. If I saw you on the street, bitches damn coward. You scared red ball and how we could go to spend some cash or cash to take a shower. I see your picky face begging on your streams. Getting never ship straight on the team. Wasted all your cash on the dude behind. You're the whole Hogan, not even a tag team. You're the bear horn. Another 50 bomb from a 50 bit bitch Now you gotta lean in and kneel it Another 50 bomb from a 50 bit bitch. Now you gotta lean in and make it fair. Feel you need no home. Be a family man. All that money feels never enough. When I see you on Street Fighter, you're just a mashing scrub. You're always blaming the other guy. Son, that's what happens when you play on Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Mr. Phil's a nigga, you're the worst gamer in the land. You're always second place to Japan. You got pipe cleaner arms and bingo wings. Sun, there's no redemption.
What's that, a birdie? Ooh, pretty birdie. Fuck your mother, fuck your mother. Jesus. I've been watching too much uh, angry video game nerd videos, obviously. Head to see which actions are available. Use the left stick to look at the shower. So what's this? Oh my god, come on. Don't show this fucking bullshit. Don't show me no cock. The game just started. Oh, come on. What the hell is this shit? I don't want to see fucking ass. What are you doing? A big butt. Show me a big butt. A big male buttocks. It's ridiculous. Smooth as a baby behind. Oh come on, man! They show me more than nudity. What is this? Give it a good, a good dry in there. Oh yes. From side to side, this is very exciting. Up oh, next, he takes a shit. You put underpants on? <laughs> Wanna go downstairs? I should get dressed before going downstairs. Says, no, you're going streaking, dude. Frank the Tank, get the fuck down there and go start streaking. What are you doing, man? I'm playing the game, not you. You do what I tell you, bitch. All right, I'm gonna go fucking slit your throat in the bathroom then. You don't listen to me, asshole. Where's the razors? Oh, come on. There's no razors in the bathroom? That's bullshit. Where's the gun? He's got to have a gun in here somewhere. Dad, why'd you take me to the bordello again? I told you, Dad. Shut up and play your fucking Game Boy. Aw, uh, artwork of... Oh, good, when the car squished his fucking son. What a great picture for your son to draw. When the car hit both you and your son, killing your son. What an asshole. Looks safe enough. Good night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! Oh. You must have left it somewhere in the house. I left it on top of the, uh... Do you have uh, any idea where it could be? The wash. No, Dad. Please. I can't sleep without him. He's just too bad is an option. That's kind of fucked up. Alright, I'll have a look around and see if I can find Too him. bad, bitch. Time to grow up. No more security blankets for you. Here you go, you little pussy. You fell asleep without it. You obviously didn't need it. Gee, thanks. I definitely wanted to see the volume of boogers inside this guy's nose. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Fuck! Because I made a kissing and weird shit appointment. Now my whole day's ruined. Look, it's right here on my planner. Kissing and weird shit. Hey, reporter, come here. Bam! I'll punch you in the face. Uh, I think the game just fucked up. Because that's what's coming out of my speaker right now. I'm not kidding. That's what's coming out of my speaker. And I haven't adjusted the volume at all. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. What is going on? The game just glitched. Do you know how to 
tie a knot in a necktie. Oh my god. I guess. You've got to be kidding me. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this hunt, but the press, they're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. Oops. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Why the hell am I tying this fucker's tie for him? How do you not learn how to tie no. a tie and be in your cop? Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver... Would you like platter. anything else? Some fucking Evian or maybe a crawler, you fucking motherfucker? How about a foot not massage? <laughs> We're gonna get Sean back. We're gonna fuck up the origami killer. We're gonna shove a cactus straight up his ass. And I'm gonna pick your nose. And if it's you, you're a dick, man. A big dick. A glass, a glass of milk for uh, Santa Christ when he shows up to deliver us presents? Where are the cookies? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. Yeah, put it in the sink, put its head under the faucet, turn it off full blast. Eye. There's nothing I can. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. I don't like Shrek lookalikes. Well, why don't you kill this That's kid him. walking by? What's oh, this, the other guy? Uh, let's try not to kill this one, please. You fucking trigger happy bastard. Well, they skipped the inaugural partner fucking. Can you believe it? It was really amazing, and but my camera battery died, and I couldn't record it. Oh, well. What the hell is he watching? This is like fucking chicken run on crack. <laughs> Crawls out, and the killer's there. Goes, you dumb fuck. All you had to do was knock on the front door, and I would have opened it for you. Oh, get ready. Here we go. Super happy fun time. Slide time. I can't see shit. This should have been a bad choice. Any cuts on your cock, honey? Oh, fuck you! What's up with you, Norm? Why are you getting cold feet? Stop this asshole. Your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I'm gonna save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Or I'm gonna fuck you. Wait, I didn't mean to say that. I hit that shit better than you, fucker. All right, here we go. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Do it. Oh! That fucking hurt. And now for my secret ingredient, bourbon. The weirdest thing just happened. The, it, I, I don't think you can see it now, though. Fuck, I think it was only for a split second. Oh, no, you can see it. See, there's two floating eggs. Do you see the two floating eggs? They're floating above the pan. Look at that. He's got scrambled eggs and two floating fucking sunny side up eggs. What the hell is that? <laughs> He's the egg master. I am the amazing egg wizard. I have the amazing ability to make eggs float above while I make eggs below. I do have to say though, look at these graphics, man. These graphics are super realistic. This is awesome. Get the fuck out of my way, you skanky hoo. And shave your fucking armpits, French bitch. Madison. I'm Madison. Billy Madison. Oh. Come on. Yeah, Quantic Dick. What the fuck is that? I you love it. What was your other son's name again? Tweedledum. My own. You're really I shitty love at that. Dummy. Everyone in the crowd's like, ew, this old, overweight, fat dude's kissing an ugly hooker. Ew. Mommy, why is that scary? 
you kissing Santa Claus? Just your bad luck. I was taking a shit. <laughs> oh my god, now they have to fucking tell you everyone who works in Sony Computer Entertainment America? Fuck you, I hate this shit. Get this bullshit the fuck out of your credits. All I want to know is who made the game. Not who fucking published the game, who fucking gave a back rub to the dude when he was coding the game, not who fucking jerked them off. This is bullshit. I don't fucking care who works at Sony. They didn't make this fucking game. You don't get any credit. It doesn't make another game, man. Come on. Oh, yeah, but I've missed that part. What do you mean you missed it? I didn't get to do it. Why? Because I was doing all the other stuff in the house, and then the fucking imaginary burglars came before I got to take a shower. You never to do that shit? No, I got pissed off. It was bullshit. Well, you, you had sex with the dude, right? No! What do you mean, no? Because I didn't know you had to kiss him. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? All I got was male nudity at the beginning of the game. I got all the worst parts. You split it the homo. Uh... How the fuck do I get in? The homo path. This is bullshit. No. It's fucking you bullshit. No, I didn't. I didn't see any tits. I didn't see any sex. It's fucking garbage, man. It's sad, man. Yeah. Well, according to this, since I've killed 12 this year, I get three back from the government. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Let's do this. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. Down. It's not gonna work. Why not? I don't know. I don't... Oh! 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 Oh!
really wanna be you, man Live in a broken house with a fat wife that look like a Chinese man Say you're the king, but you ain't nothing more than the king of a five-way chin He wanna do less, but he won't get money, so he gotta send out subliminal bags Tricking the dents into thinking if they don't pitch in, and this nigga won't pay off the rent Telling him fill up the coffers and call him retarded, but say don't call him a den Gets all his money and spends it on gimmicks, but he is not an entertainer of kids He's just a piggy who snorts in a mic, and all of these bitches be calling him Dave Telling him that he be begging all day Telling him that if he wanted this way, he gonna get have to get used to the fact that the track ain't gonna be coming in waves. We'd rather do that than let a begging piggy make tea turn in his grave. Cause fuck them crocodile tears talking about all the toys that he gave. Then you let him get sprayed? You wouldn't give him a ride and then he got blasted and finally died. But you're not to blame, yeah sure, okay. And I hate the way you justify that story while you getting paid. Lying about the mobile apps that you play on that celly. And lying about such scrollers saying they set you up but you let them. And lying about that lying app that you got linked up in your telly. And if John and Howard were your friends, then nigga, you YNW Melly. You talk all that shit on the net, but when you get checked, you don't want the beef. I'm an alcoholic, Jaha, please don't be mean to read. Then start sucking dick as soon as you have to talk to Keem. That nigga bent you over and had you looking like Panda Lee. And now you going back to them old ways, that old Dave, that king of hate, that motherfucker that don't care what these hoes say. This motherfucker ain't okay, but he ain't showing no shame. He put that crying on quick like it was made out of some road game. I hate you, bitch. I hate the way that you beg, the way that you snort, the way that you treat your horse that you got locked up in that fort. I hate the way that you smile when you think you smart and when you act like a damn retard. Yeah, I said it. Want to know why? Because I'm not scared of it like you are. I don't have people accusing me of going and buying a car I don't have dents giving me money so I can go out to the bar I don't get called a loser by wrestlers in Supercard But yeah, your life's so much better than mine I should just Minecraft my heart But nah, I'll just keep making songs until you go and fall apart Until another dent go and steal the wheels off your car Or until the long stars come and shut your power off <laughs> So first of all, because there was such an outpouring of support on my streams at the very end of 2017, and because I did a significant amount of fundraising, <clears throat> I, this month, am doing two celebratory events uh, in response to the outpouring of support that I did get in late December. The first being a Metal Gear Solid 2 secondary playthrough. Um, and basically, I was calling this a redemption run. And I'll be honest with everyone, I played this game again this week, but some six and a half years later, to be completely honest with everyone, honestly, I didn't do much better, if better at all, this time around. Reason being, and I said this on social media this week, in order to really get good at the Metal Gear Solid classics, not the more modernized ones like Metal Gear Solid 4 and 5, but if you want to be good at Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, these are games that you have to take your time with. These are games that you have to spend a lot of time with to learn the nuances of the controls, the nuances of different ways that you can do things in the game. <clears throat> Perfect example, there's certain things you can do to get past certain areas of the game faster. There's boss fights that you can do completely differently uh, based on if you know secrets about the boss fights and stuff like that. I don't know any of that, and I said this on social media, I said, in order to get good at Metal Gear, and for me to ever be good at Metal Gear, I would need to play these games more than once every six years, okay? Admittedly, I know that my Metal Gear Solid 2 run wasn't much of a redemption run. If you actually watch it, really the only thing that I did better this time around were the boss fights. Most of the boss fights I beat in one shot, uh, but outside of that, a lot of the playthrough I struggled with, with sneaking in the leg, just did not go very well, okay? <clears throat> also... I did begin my Metal Gear Solid 3 run. This one, I would say, honestly, could be called a redemption run. Why? Well, I still suck at the sneaking. To be completely honest, I'm still doing terrible with the stealth. But the boss fights so far, there have been four major boss fights in this playthrough. Revolver Ocelot, The Pain, The Fear, and The End. And every single major fight that I've done, I've beaten non-violently. Meaning it was all tranquilizer. No actual, you know, striking these enemies and hurting them. It was all non-violent, which was really awesome. Um, that being said, it is a lot harder to beat these bosses non-violently than it is violently. But I've managed to do. I mean, today, I mean, almost an hour, I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the end. Sneaking around behind him. Using all the tools, like the microphone and the, the motion sensor and everything to find this guy. And, uh... You know, it was a lot more fun, I'll be honest with everyone. Doing it this way, <clears throat> it's
It's a lot more challenging, but at the same time, in my opinion, it is a lot more fun to take on these bosses the non-violent way. It's definitely an interesting thing that was put into the game, the way that you can tackle these bosses in multiple different ways. And it, it kind of shows now, six years later, me replaying uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and doing it non-violently, it actually kind of exposes the genius of Kojima. Because when I played it six years ago, I was running gun, running gun, every boss running gun, right? I mean, hell, I tried to hit the end with shot a shotgun the whole fight. Um, this time around, trying to sneak up and tranquilize, so much interesting, so different, right? To use the gadgets and hear what people, what they're saying, like the end is saying stuff in his sleep, he's snoring and stuff, it's really cool. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really liking the second run of Metal Gear Solid 3 a lot more than I ever did my first run. I played a major stream of Fortnite Battle Royale, and after playing it for about four hours, I came to the determination. Honestly, I don't like Fortnite Battle Royale that much. Fortnite Battle Royale, it really is from the get-go because the map is so small. You better land somewhere where there's a good weapon, because if you don't, immediately someone's going to come around the corner with a good weapon that they found and blow you away. And it's really fast. Like, I mean, I was playing upwards of three matches within ten minutes if I was just unlucky in, in, in Fortnite Battle Royale. Um, although the matches can be long if you're lucky, right? If you land in a good area and you get good weapons and you can last most of the match, a lot of the times the matches are just boom, 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 they're over. Okay? For me... I personally like the style of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds better, the slow build, rather than the constant action, action, action of Fortnite having such smaller uh, maps. That being said, during the, the session of Fortnite Battle Royale that I played, after four hours of me struggling with this game, finally the final match, I won. I actually got a victory royale. So if you want to see that, that's live over on DSP Gaming 2. And yeah, it was basically a week of surprises. Phil got a victory royale. Phil was able to beat... All these bosses in Metal Gear Solid 3 non-violently. Everyone basically is like surprised. And honestly, I'm surprised. I didn't know if this stuff would, would realistically happen. And it did. Alright. Um, so it's been a pretty crazy week so far. Oh god, what's this? Oh, three billboards, Lady Berry, and Big Little Lies win at the Golden Globes. Who fucking cares? All, almost all this, this cool gameplay streams and everything going on this week. Attendance on the streams have been way up. I see way more people on streams daily than new, than they, they used to be. That's awesome. Um, people are cheering something and tipping. Amazing. Here we go. And money ladies talks. and gentlemen, Here only one money. week in the year. Already for subs on Twitch. If you weren't here last week, if you didn't see the week of preview last week, I announced that things are different this year. Typically, remember, it used to be on Patreon. It used to be, oh, we have to hit a certain funding amount on Patreon this month, and then I'll do a special celebratory goal. I announced last week it's not going to be like that anymore. What it's going to be is now based off of Twitch performance. All right? When I announced this last week, when I had announced um, that this was what I wanted to do, I didn't even have 400 subs yet. Ladies and gentlemen, as of today, I hit a record 454 subscribers. Now, it's gone down a little bit since then because what happens is people subscribe, it goes up, and then if some subscriptions expire, it goes down. But 454 subscribers at once, I mean, just not even two months ago, I had like 250. So, pretty insane the amount of massive new positivity and support that I'm getting around my streams. It really is a really awesome thing that I'm enjoying, okay? So, because we hit it so quickly, I have now upped the ante, ladies and gentlemen. There's a new goal on Twitch. If I can hit 500 subs, 500 concurrent subscriptions at the same time on my Twitch channel this month, I am going to be doing something special. What? Well, <clears throat> it really depends on you guys and your feedback. I, when I announced this the other night, when we hit four, well, it was right before we hit 450 subs. When I announced that I wanted to increase the goal into a tier two goal this month because we did so well with tier one, uh, I was asking people in stream chat, what would you like to see? And someone jokingly, I don't know if it was jokingly or not, they was like, Phil, you got to do another Axe body wash or Axe body detailer shower video. Now, for those of you who, don't, who know what that is, you might not know. It's been so long. In late 2010, this was before I even grew my hair and I had a goatee, back when I was still old school looking Phil from the first two years of stuff that I used to do on YouTube. One day, when I was trying to think of content that I could put on my vlogging channel, The King of Hate HD, not this one, but the original vlogging channel, The King of Hate HD, um, this was after I had just lost my job. And I didn't know how I was going to pay the bills anymore. And you couldn't even monetize gameplay videos. So I had put ads on the videos on the, that vlogging channel. And I was trying to find things that would bring people to the vlogging channel. So one night I had a few too many to drink. And I said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Axe Body Detailer DSP Tries It. What this was was a little loofah scrub thing that men could buy or was supposed to be for men. And you scrub your body with it. Okay. Um, 
I made this video of me in the shower topless, scrubbing my body, basically slurring my words because I had drunk, drank so much, all right? Uh, it went viral. Within a day, the thing had something like 30,000 views, if not more. Um, and honestly, because I was making so much, you know, I, there was there were ads on it and people were, were going crazy for the ads. I made like a thousand bucks in a day on that video, which is out of control, right? But that video got so much attention, guess what? That was the video that triggered YouTube seven plus years ago to think that I was cheating with the AdSense program. And they contacted me and said, we're kicking you out of the AdSense program on this channel because we suspect that you're, that you're, you're, you're sitting there clicking on the video to get ad revenue because you made so much in one day. And I was like, I didn't. It was the viewers. The viewers went nuts for this crazy video and probably went over and went, oh, I want to support Phil. The underdog just lost his job. Let's all click on the ads or whatever, which you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to do that on YouTube. No, you're not supposed to ever try to ask, uh, uh, have someone click on ads or anything. It's supposed to be of their own free will. So YouTube falsely accused me of doing this myself, of all things, or employing bots and stuff to click on this video, which I never did, and they kicked me out of the answers program because of this video, all right? But, that being said, the video was very popular, very, very popular, um, for being me, me being, you know, slurring my words, being drunk and silly, and being topless in the shower, scrubbing with this thing. It was pretty funny. All right, how about the balls, bro? So I said, just jokingly on the stream the other night, I'll do another one of those videos. I'll do something else. I'll go, I'll find another body, uh, you know, wash or scrub or something from my local supermarket. <clears throat> and I'll do another one of those silly videos. And people started going nuts. They're like, wow, that's funny. That's great. Yeah, all right. Let, let, that should be the goal. Let's do it. So I don't know. People really are motivated to subscribe to DSP, uh, to uh, Dark Side Phil on my Twitch channel. Um... Let's try this again. If people are really motivated to subscribe to my Dark Side Phil Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Dark Side Phil because they want to see me topless in the shower again, I guess I'll do it. I, I mean, you know, no skin off my back. Who gives a shit, right? Seriously, who cares? Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'll do that. But if there's something else that people want as a goal for this 500 subs goal that'll motivate them to, to sub, then I'll do that too. But I'm not really getting a consensus. So people are like, increase the length of your streams. Like, are you nuts? I already streamed so much. I'm so worn out. I can't stream longer than I do already. My, my voice is all hoarse and everything. <clears throat> I can't possibly start streaming longer. Um, and I don't want to do another event because I already got the Indies event coming up. I don't want to say, oh, another special event because now you're doing event on top of event. And now, you know, you don't, I, especially with new releases and stuff coming out, I don't want to promise the world and then I don't have time to do the events and stuff. So, see what I mean? Um... But anyway, let me know. Give me feedback. Do you think that the, the doing another Axe Shower video is enough to motivate 15 more people to subscribe to the channel by the end of the month? Do you think there's a better thing? Let me know, and we'll go from there. Here me. comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. All of that, baby. Do it up, baby, too. Thank you for calling YouTube customer support. Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line with all the other lame brain dummies who don't matter. Your expected wait time is whatever. Wolverine doll, 2K24, big ups. Put me on hold, don't they know who I am? I invented playthroughs, I'm the man with the plan. Mommy's 10 year plan, did I need it or not? I guess it doesn't matter, let's hold that thought. I think about money and I hold that thought. I think about my marriage and I hold that thought. A lot about all I never got, but I take another sip and a whole bad thought. I never got my dick rubbed. My parents never bought the doll that goes snicked, bub. I never got the spicy Latina. She never even let me near the spicy vagina. I never got an accoladed Evo. Didn't see no love for DSP, but they love the top three though. I never got the respect that I ought, so I try to wonder why, then I hold that thought. I think about Leanna and I hold that thought. I think about T and I hold that thought. I think a lot about everyone I've lost, and I pull another Hogan and I hold that thought. I lost my buddies Rambo and Howard, I threw out my fucking back, now I gotta use a stool in the shower. I lost my money, my nerve and my power, they were gonna throw hands, I just pulled mine back like a coward. I lost my understanding of the how or the why or the bad decisions that I made that got me lost like a tire. I lost my fire, the passion I brought, so I wonder what's left, then I hold that thought. Why am I this way? Why am I this way? A scam and a play, while time flies away. Why am I this way? Why am I this way? I pray I will climb to level two, just not 
Going crazy like CeeLo, from getting overlooked like my little man Skeelo. I need Hogan's, I gotta pull a kilo. My PJs are a chronicle of every time I ate a Dorito. The haters all compel that thought, and hell I fucking wish I could dispel that thought. I dress like I do cause of low tier God. He said I wasn't sexy and I held that thought. I think about the past and I hold that thought. I think about the future and I hold that thought. I pour another gin, take a cold fat shot, then I go downstairs and I hold that thought. I wish it was a little less dopey, a little less copy. I wish I didn't give it all to Scopely. I wish I had a little more hope that I won't die broke and alone. Not a note from the homies. I wish the whole world hadn't seen it. I wish I just dreamed it. Even if they didn't see my penis. I got troubled thoughts. I get lost in the sauce. All because like my sauce need a little more sweetness. I wish I was a little bit Why smarter. I wish I was a charmer. Way? Instead of just Why a quarter and a farter. I wish that my emotions had armor. It's hard when they charge me with fraud or escape from a farmer. I wish I could control how my name is displayed in the pages. And nobody Why could say I'm an anus. I may go insane from the hate and the pain. It's a shame that my brain's as fucked up as my fate is. Atlas, Atlas, uh, in the high, yes. in the hot seat tonight. And Atlas goes by the name of Atlas, the bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? The one has done a super chat. I watched some of your recent Casey interview with June. June, not June. Josh, we did not do an interview with June the King. <laughs> This person's got their wires crossed here. It was an interview, a Kino Casino interview with June the King. June the King, he's not happy. It was a Kino Casino interview with Josh Moon yesterday. I think he combined the words Josh and Moon into June, but it's not the same person as June the King. Let's not get this all confused. All right, let's start over. I watched some of your recent Casey interview with Josh. You nailed it perfectly when you said the root issue is a moral disagreement. He often contradicted himself, and I think deep down he isn't happy. You know, you never know. You don't know because you can't really see inside the mind of someone else or the heart of someone else. All you can do is believe what they say and maybe read body language. We couldn't read body language because he didn't have a webcam, right? So all we can do is trust his word. And if he says he's happy with what he's doing, good for him. But you notice I ended the show, the interview, with a word of warning to him. The, the allegory or was it a comparison, whatever it was about the Frankenstein's monster. Because I really do feel like that Kiwi Farms is going to kill him. I mean, I don't mean it's going to physically, like, come and murder him. I'm saying, like, running a site like that and having to constantly move it around the Internet just because you want to have the best drama site on the Internet, I, I just don't see the point. Literally, at the end of the day, no one is going to... I'm going to be honest here. At the end of the day, no one's going to remember Josh Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms. They're just not. What they're going to remember is Kiwi Farms, which was a toxic website. That's all they're going to remember. Even if his intention is good, sadly, that's the stigma that site has now. And I get the feeling that <clears throat> moving through the years, it's going to get worse for him. And I really feel, after having spoken with him, he's a well-spoken guy. He seems very intelligent. And he certainly doesn't seem like a bad person. Like, his intentions seem good. But I feel like, sadly, it's going to crash and burn for him. And I hope that he gets out before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, Cosmos with a super chat. Congrats on civil Josh talk and banning you know who. If similar success goes with Keem and your documentary, you should be clear for positive inflation. Well, first off, due to a, an addendum on that, yes, we banned you know who. Yes, we banned him on every single channel because my moderators actually figured out there's a way to seek out people on channels even if they're not actively in the chat, and we banned him there too. We've also uh, basically banned his name from the chat. Because we have trolls coming in now, literally just spamming his name and saying gross stuff and also making accounts and stuff with his name. So that's all done as of now. It's all done. It's wiped. It's, it's history. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch my interview with Kino Casino and Josh Moon from yesterday and you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it's actually clipped right now over on the Kino Casino Clip channel. You can check it out here on YouTube. Go check it out there because it's more edited for time and it's better. Um, so there you go. 
uh, go check it out, and we're done. There's no other further discussion. I've already talked about it. It's over. No, you're not going to get to ask me. In fact, the same fucking, literally, goodbye. I'm serious. I'm not even kidding you. As I'm saying this right now, someone in chat says, oh, well, why did you take you so long to fuck? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and get out of my chat and don't come back. The king decrees you are a plebeian and a little wimp and a peon. Get the fuck out of the king's court. I'm tired of wasting my time repeating myself. The king does not repeat himself. <laughs> so we're done with that topic and it's all good. All right. Dry. The king gives his speeches where his own people cry Slurring his words and overpronouncing his T's Stuck in the gouty kingdom is where he wants to be Living with his own maid who gains some extra pounds Ignoring all the trolls, to him they are just sound When the kingdom reigns there's no money to be found Stuck in his castle to forever be housebound he got himself a new PC Now the trolls will cope and see Blessed with riches from the kinos But we all know where that money goes The casino will bring him bad luck The king will always fuck it up Then soon the detractors will To the king will run out then the king will have to shout taking their taxes and some coin hoping for the casino to rejoin and then the detractors will sing fell to the king Cacophony of just cacophony. Yeah, but I'm really getting tired. tired. <laughs> Fuck me. You know what? Hey, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Listen, man. Ryan, hello. Right, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to figure out how to fucking blow up this air mattress, and we have no idea. Like, we thought this was like a box that you could punch to pump it up, and it didn't work. And hey, Ryan, smell my foot. <laughs> We don't know if we're supposed to blow into it or just, uh, you know, pump the box. We tried both and nothing's happening. We can't tell anything. So, <laughs> Min, Min wants to blow the whole thing up by himself. That's amazing. Stop recording. <laughs> Stop recording. Can we, are there any I'm instructions not, here? <clears throat> no. Oh, wait. Are there instructions? That's a warning label, I think. Keep away from fire. No. Not for use in water. Oh, okay. Attention. My phone's out of battery. Follow the rules. Do you, you have the rules on this? No. Oh well, shit, you know what? Well, is, where's the bag? What the fuck's going on? Shut up, idiot. Where's the bag from it? Right there. Uh, on the monitor. On the it's not on the monitor. What are you talking about? Uh, the other you know Koreans are great at star star whatever the game is. Nice. Uh yeah. What the hell are you oh. Yeah, no instructions. It's all just back in the, the other that, uh, public TV. Starcraft. In one, 
in one of these fucking boxes to sleep in there. That's my clothes. Hey Ben, are you good at StarCraft? No, I'm actually awful at StarCraft. A Korean is awful at StarCraft? No lie. I'm really bad at it. That's fucking ridiculous. I can only play fighting games. Well, not any time. Wow. You want to get bodied? Let's run it. <laughs> Seriously? For two shots. Let's go. For two shots. Let's go. Alright, get up. Get the fuck up. I'm mad now. <laughs> <laughs> you re cocoon yourself. Well, it's not here. It's not close. Close? Yeah. It's got to be in one of these, uh... Are you I, sure? It's probably in one of these, uh... Bins. Uh, let's make sure. Are you sure it's in one of these? It, it's in one of something here. <laughs> All I want to do is do is the next part. Oh, here's a pillow. There's another pillow. Alright, well, those are all DVDs the rest of them. Well, pillows are better than nothing, right? <laughs> now he's using a pillow. What did you do? You gave him a pillow. I wanted to just throw it at his face. He's the opposition. Nope. Well, I said that we needed to take the other sleeping bag. I hope it's not dead. Well, That's close. Pillows. Can't Looks like all clothes. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, who oh, we have something in here? <laughs> you just sleep on clothes. Uh, I mean, you could do that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Phil. I get the feeling we didn't take it. I mean, you, you know my house is like less than five minutes away. Yep. I can go get something from there. Like fill those blankets. If only someone could drive. You didn't even get nothing. <laughs> no. I can drive. No, you can't. Ben, you wanna ride? <laughs> oh my god. Whatever. I'll, I'll sleep on the floor. Just give me my beer. I don't even care at this point. Is this your beer? Yeah. Let me just get a pillow. Or... Shitty Corona. Well, it's better than the best. Alright, Ryan. You wanna have it for two shots? Right now. Random. I don't care. You challenge me. If you don't, you're a bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Look at this faggot. Come on, Ryan. Go. Hey, you keep doing it. So I was like, playing Marvel 2. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing for later this month when it comes out on Xbox Live Arcade. Thanks, Dave. Damn, son. Oh, dude, who ripped one? Oh, jeez, this is a confined space. Come on, man. Oh, jeez, that's deadly. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta plug it into the, the subwoofer. Not really subwoofer, the fucking... What do you call it? Very power strip down there? I'm not doing it, goddamn it. I'm not even. <laughs> you motherfucker. And of course, they're playing on the old ass green goblin sticks. Yeah, that's still lingering. That still work. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dave. You motherfucker. Alright, what's up? We're in, uh. We're in Stratford at a pool party, but it's also a gaming party. This is what you do if you don't go to Evo. You still play games all fucking weekend. We got some gay ass fucking game here. I don't know what this gay shit is. This is like fucking Twink Fighter. <laughs> Super Twink Fighter. We got old ass TV, which no one's playing right now. We got Street Fighter 4. Over here, we got HD Remix. We got that grill going. Oh, yes, delicious burgers. Mmm. Got that beer, of course. Oh, in the face. Josh, you got it. Right in the hair. <laughs> Smile, Josh. Smile, just got owned on camera. camera. Oh, yeah? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so accurate. He shot his 
bro. I need more beer. Oh, this shoot, shoot, shoot him in the juke, bro. <laughs> hey, that's a violation, dog. Don't be doing that. Oh, he sprayed him in the ass by accident. <laughs> oh, I like sprayed my feet and shit. He's like, hey, mother. <laughs> That's a non-entrance area. You got that? Nothing goes there, even water. <laughs> water Dirty ass mother. That's literally swamp ass right now. The murky waters. Uh-oh, uh -oh, here we go, Magno. Amazing backflip. What do we got? And he broke two limbs on Alan. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I actually did. Yeah. Oh. Good Nice. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's like a new day when she's jumping. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sweating no more. This motherfucker, he's like a fucking villain over here. He's looking around with a guy. Oh! Shooting him all up. Shooting him up. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Uh, I do want to talk to Derek. I do. <laughs> I do desperately want to talk to Derek. A lot of questionable stuff that you put on social media. You don't have to talk to me, but I will. Uh, <laughs> I will be talking about you, no matter what. There's lower sex age limits. Uh, hiding behind the preschool's hedge My pants go down, I see a kid And then I finish Please lower sex age limits My playlist start my blood to churn And then I jerk my cock until it burns And then watch Philip Zipper wide open, penis flapping around Canadian coon Canadian coon Tommy 10 inch, I love your fat cock Raven, please give me permission to burst I'm so close now, you nearly got my cum So say Let's continue. Oh my god, Will. <laughs> I guess I gotta ban someone. I will surf across the net for places to coom. In my bedroom, I will stay. It's where I like to goon I don't know exactly why I was banned now But not before <laughs> And I will go cooming No I thought my friend was DSP, but he turned me away. I thought he wanted to trick or treat, or take me out for my birthday. But now he'll never, ever get the chance. To get some of my support uh -huh. And I will go cooning No more But no, it can't be true I will goon if I want to No, J-O-I I can do it myself if I try For that guy Oh no, I'm banned
I know who Derek is. I can't confirm or deny what you guys are saying because I've literally how, never looked into it. How can you say it. you know who he is when you won't look into it? I know who he is in my chat. I know who he is as this part is of the This is flat out delusional, though. Like, if you look at his <laughs> Twitter account, it's just straight up porn, 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 porn. Derek precious one. I don't know any crimes that he's done, so please don't tell me he is young, he's afraid, let him free. Son, I might have known if I'd possessed a dick that worked. My cool new friends telling me that Derek Band should be. It's not their call. The kids in his playlists I could burn Night and day With his ham Let him play If I Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry, and I wanted to wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. I mean, I've, I I know of this guy. I've never actually watched like any of his content, but I know of him. Uh, I don't know if this is a joke or not. You know that he's making this. Um, but man, there might be more, but I can't I can't watch anymore. I really feel sick now. I actually legit feel sick in my stomach. <coughs> What is going on everyone? DSP here and welcome to the first episode of Ask the King for 2017. This is my bi-monthly Q&A show where every two months or so I take all of your questions that have been submitted on the kingofhate.com forums as well as questions that you submitted on my Twitter and I pick 
basically the best ones, not necessarily they're better or worse than other questions, but questions that I feel that number one, I could give you informed answers on, or number two, I can entertain you with my answers. Okay. Um, all right. So to start off, let's do the Patreon questions. People who actually pledge to my Patreon, who are going to get their questions answered right here on the show. All right. First off, this question is from... And it's right on target with what I was just talking about. So he says, Hey, Phil, glad everything's going well with your Patreon recently. And I hope that the support is continued in the, until YouTube can finally get their shit together and figure out what the hell's going on. My question is regarding the future of your business, specifically your backup plan if things don't go as planned. Realistically, if I were to try to go get a full-time job, another kind of job, okay, um, then what I do for you two, more than likely... There'd be a couple options. The first thing would be to start talking with, for example, Boeing. There's a company right around here called Boeing. This business would actually actively seek out people with bad credit and try to give them loans at incredibly high loan to value, uh, which is very bad. It's a very bad thing, immoral thing to do, because obviously these people got bad credit and for some reason. Right? Either it was something went wrong in their life, medical bills, um, you know, they're not responsible with, you know, their finances, they, you know, they racked up their credit cards, tons of things, any, you know, a million reasons why you could have bad credit. But chances are they're high risk, they're probably going to end up in that situation again. And we would do all these high loan to value loans with these people, and then they just get themselves right back into the same situation. So, I would think maybe I would have a shot. The problem is it's a very cutthroat industry, meaning they're probably going to look for someone over me who maybe has been in the industry the entire time and didn't take time off to do their own thing. Although, honestly, I never wanted to do YouTube full time. This was never my intention. YouTube was always going to be my hobby, and I wanted to keep an office job. It just didn't work out like that. I was forced into this. Um... So that would be one thing, one option. Go to Boeing and see if they're hiring and see, try to convince them that even though I'm out of the loop that after getting up to speed for maybe six months or so, I could jump right in and do a lot of hard work for them and, and go back to that. All right, so the next two questions are actually directly related, okay? And so I want to read them both together, and then I want to kind of do a collective answer, all right? So, two questions. The first one is from and he says, Phil, I've been a long-time viewer ever since you, you did your original Fallout 3 playthrough. I'm wondering, do you have any possibility of working with other YouTubers in the near future? I always like the idea of you and SSOHPKC collaborating, or just you and any other YouTube in general, a YouTuber in general, excuse me. And then the older person who asked a very similar question right after... <laughs> Ask the following. I have a very similar question. Would you consider reaching out to famous YouTubers to do a podcast with them, for example? It would be a nice way to get more viewers. I think it would also be an effective way to show people who you really are and to counter all those negative videos that haters have made about you, yada, yada, yada. Um, <clears throat> this question comes up every once in a while, and I answer it pretty much the same way, and it's funny because it never really changes, right? Here's the bottom line, everyone. The answer right now, quite frankly, no. it's not going to happen because I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm going to repeat that. I'm not a big YouTuber. That's the life that I live. So, you know, you might say, gee, Phil, why can't you, the first question today, why can't you get a job outside of, you know, what you're doing? <clears throat> Well, you know, it's it's mostly because I've been out of the industry for six years and I don't really have uh, any kind of experience recently with any other kind of job. And if I get a job, I won't be able to pay my bills. I, I think I'll have a dip in income. Well, Phil, then one of the solutions would be to collab with a bigger YouTuber. Why would a bigger YouTuber collab with me? There's no incentive for them to ever do it because of the negativity that follows me around. Well, Phil, why don't you get on a podcast? Well, I... What the hell? 
This is not the correct screen. Hold on. This is the correct screen. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. It doesn't look right. All right. First question. From he says, Phil, I'm learning to drive, and I'm wondering if you have any tips or advice about learning to drive or give driving in general. Maybe you could talk about your story of when you learned how to drive. FYI, I live in Europe. And we drive on the opposite side of the road to the United States. <clears throat> I'll be driving a manual car, but any help or advice would be great. I have no advice whatsoever when it comes to driving manual or automatic. Nothing. I've never driven a manual car before. Um, <clears throat> two pieces of advice I guess I could try to give you. The first is, don't drive it to a stop sign. <laughs> That's one half of it. Number two, if you get pulled over for, say, drunk driving or something like that, then, yeah, then they'll take away your license and you'll have to go through remedial driving courses or whatever. But the bottom line is there's no real test to see if you're still up to <clears throat> driving and obeying all the laws of the road. <clears throat> so if you never get into a car accident and never get pulled over, you could potentially be the most hazardous driver on the planet and you'll never get in trouble for it. And you could have everyone else saying, oh, fuck, steering around you as you veer all over the roads. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Buffet bro, carve it up one time. All right, guys. Time if you want to talk about steak to go somewhere else. Because it's one thing if you're just sitting there talking about steak. If literally my entire fucking street chat is about steak, you can go to food chat somewhere else. There's a fighting game going. So if you're not here for Street Fighter, just leave now. And uh, don't come back. Let's talk about steaks, baby. Let's talk about a nice fillet. Let's talk about a porterhouse. I'm sure your mouth will say it's great. Let's talk about Let's steaks. Talk about steaks. Let's, talk about Let's talk about steaks. Bon appetit. Let's talk about Let's steaks. Talk about Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk about steaks for now. Cause the chat is so slow it hit the brakes for now. Phil's trying to ban the LARPers and the fakes for now. He isn't answering Jonathan Frakes for now. What's the right tip? Now we talk about the steaks in the chat cause his gameplay is boring. What else would we be doing here? Snoring? So hit me up with tips. But not the kind he's jelly for. I need to know how long to cook a welly for. Oh, oh. He thinks that we're derailing? He throws a fit. Making threats and recommending we should go and eat shit. Will that stop us, Drill? Yeah, I doubt it. We're, we're giving, giving Phil, Phil pain, pain like gout is. Let's talk about steaks, baby. I'm out of for you and me. Maybe you would like a big T-bone because it's known that you, you kill T. Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk Let's about, talk about steaks. Oh. Drill, I'm gonna let you cook. Shit, I look. I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. I don't care if you like A1 on your porterhouse. I don't even care if you like medium rare or greasy cheese chicken that's greasier than my hair. I don't want to talk about the steak. I want to talk about me, me, re all day. No Kobe B and no pasta place, but talk about my wife, that's what the pastor say. Woo! This is not a food stream, this is not a new thing. Only talk about me and how cat's food stinks. We got Wolverine doll and Chicken. Present. Oh. But not the way that Dave wants it. Give me again, Ike, and put some steak on it. Give me the rib, I put the marinade on it. Steak looking so clean, you could bake a cake on it. Mix it with the whole greens and the shake and bake powder. But don't give me lip, I'm DSP and I don't take no shit. Don't care about your steak, don't care about your fish, because unless it's delivered, it ain't all my Let's dish. talk about steaks we love, that's all that we're thinking of. Let's talk about how it feels to have a meal of steak a poivre. Let's talk about steaks, let's talk about steaks, let's talk about steaks, let's talk about steaks. Now, Philip, what do you like? On your steak, do you like steak sauce? Do you like hot sauce? Do you like a pat of butter? Or maybe you like a nice surf and turf, throw a little lobster tail on there for your boy. Myself though, Philip, all I need is a little bit of Salt and pepper. Let's talk about steak, Diane. Not many steak houses can prepare the dish table side. The flames go high, and I'm a fan. Let's talk about steaks. Let's house. talk about steaks. Plates. Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk about steaks. Let's talk about steaks. Fuck, I'm 
Let's talk about a tomahawk Bill's trying to stop all talk But we're a community And frankly he can suck my cock Let's talk about Let's steaks talk about Let's talk about steaks Let's talk about Let's steaks talk about Let's talk about steaks And that's what I mean People think that my streams sometimes are just some kind of place to go in and just, oh, let's just talk about hanging out about other shit. Like, dude, you, that's so disrespectful to the streamer. The next question. This one's going to blow you guys away. You ready for this? Here we go. Listen to this question, everyone. I swear to you, you're going to be like, what in the hell is going on? Here we go. Do you think incest can be morally neutral why or why not? The main objection towards incest is birth deformities. What about same-sex relationships? What would be the objection there? You can't say it's weird or gross because that would be an objection towards emotion and not logic. You can't say it's wrong because society says it's wrong. You can't appeal to society because society gets things wrong all the time, like gay marriages. You can't say society has progressed and evolved from incest because society's progress doesn't inherently determine moral neutrality Moral assessments are typically based on potential harm or consent. So what exactly is wrong with two 18-year-old brothers or sisters having a sexual relationship, assuming there is no power dynamics that are at play? Here's, here is my quick take on it, all right? It's this simple. Hold on to your butts. On this planet Earth, you can do whatever you want. There's no one out there that can stop your action. What they can stop is the consequences to your action. Do you understand? So, excuse me, what they can do is have consequences for your actions, what I meant to say. You can have any relationship you want on earth. You could be in love with your brother or sister. You could be in love with a rock. You could be in love with an elephant. You do it however you want, right? But then you have to live with the consequences. Live with the consequences, correct? And I think that's what a lot of people have issues with, is they don't understand how consequences work in life. Consequences have actions, Pip. So they think, is there free will? Is there not? Is there this? Is there that? Well, in life, you have to live with consequences of what you do, correct? That is correct. Personally, for me, if you're saying you're looking for a romantic partner on this planet, correct? Correct! Does it not make more sense? to find a romantic partner of someone out there who you have not spent a significant amount of time of your life with, but you find someone who's the right person and you have that time period where you get to know them better. You have you find out what your similarities are, what your differences are. You essentially find that one in a million who's right for you. Now, even that statement may be an over-exaggeration because in reality, do you really think that everyone who falls in love is one in a million? Probably not. Probably. You know, it's people who they find someone who they get along with and then they want to spend the rest of their life with because they, they get along and they support each other and they love each other, etc., etc. It's probably not a one in a million thing, correct? You are correct, sir! However, when it comes to who on earth are we going to be romantic with, if you're someone you've already grown up with, someone who spent a significant amount of your time with, a brother, a sister, a family member already, right? Doesn't really have much meaning, <clears throat> does it? In my opinion, like that doesn't make any sense to me. Like of all the people who I'd want to spend the rest of my life with, it's not the people I spent my young years with. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I love my family, but for me to have a romantic relationship with someone for the rest of my life, I want to have someone who I went out there and I found someone who was meaningful to spend time with, who isn't me or isn't part of that core family that I've already have been forced to be with. Do you understand? No, not really. Like, that's romance, is you find someone out there who you really connect with, but you've been through different life experiences, you've been through different things. Your brother and sister, you have not been, you're, you're living in the same house. You've essentially had the same life, right? <laughs> Especially your formative years. That doesn't make any sense to me at all, that people would want to be with someone who's a family member or anything like that. Oh, uh, yeah, you think? If anything, listen, do you like to get together with your family around the holidays or for special events or whatever? Keep them close. Sure, you care about them. You love them, a platonic love of your family. But I wouldn't ever romantically fall in love with someone I was growing up with as a family member.
that just it doesn't even that whole idea of romantic love doesn't make sense to me it's not the same you see what i mean i don't think it is the same perhaps people are misunderstanding what it is what romance even is romantic love I wanna know who killed him. that could be what it is if that's the only kind of love and affection you've ever felt in your life was from your direct family members then maybe that's why you have messed up thoughts in your head about romance you know what i mean and maybe some people sadly that's been their whole life um and they don't have a better situation they don't understand what it means to actually romantically be in love with someone for me i want you know me and my wife we come from totally different backgrounds we do and that's an amazing thing that we bring our own life experiences into the relationship we have together to make a unique union it's those different experiences that allow us to become almost a, a whole that works together. If we were people who grew up in the same situation, the same house, the same everything, you're two of the same person. How is that anything that's that's meaningful? Well, you know what I'm saying? Brilliant. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So, very simply put, it's you know it has nothing to do with societal norms. It has to do with the whole no notion of what romance really should be or what it is. Um, that's my take on it. Um, but the thing is, you can do whatever you want. In life, you could have romance with anything. You could have romance with this Xbox 3 controller right now. If you really wanted to. I don't think anyone's going to stop you. But does it really have meaning? That's the real question. Okay. Alright. I, I bet that they thought it was going to be really stupid. They were right. My answer, I tried to at least give you a decent answer for that. Okay. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. April 2024, live streaming schedule Wednesday, April 28, 24 to Sunday. April 28, Wednesday, April 24, the Level 1 podcast. Elden Ring, the Lick Tree Rush, Fallout for Premiere, Thursday, April 25, day off, day off, day off.
don't know what to do, so I'll act nice. Try to beg less. Yeah, right. Stop talking about steak. This is my night. Doc's coming out, so I guess I better act Time right. You. We need to change that. We need to stop spending money on crap. Just stop entirely. No more excuses. Well, how did that being said? Well, all I know is what I've been told. Seattle air is better than snow. I ain't sold shit and I don't pay tax. Got 13 cards. I might just max sequestering fever. Ain't never got me down. Sequestering fever. Ain't got no one around. With a credit card in my hand, I'm going out to stake some Washington land. Sequestering fever. Ain't never got me down. Well, I told my parents this is good for me. No income tax, no condo fees. I said the state and Linda began to weep. But didn't I say it? Call once a week. Next on the list was Panda Lee. Abandon your friends and live with me. Quit your job, I'll pay the lot. No need for sex, just cook me slop. Sequestering fever ain't never got me down. Sequestering fever ain't got no one around. Proposing couldn't make her stay autistic, so made on the way. Sequestering fever. Fever ain't never got me down. Well, I found me a condo. Where do I sign? Rent the other? Dude, I have no time. It's away from Seattle to avoid the crime. With walls so high, urbans just can't climb. Only leave about once a week. And I'm telling you, Steve, that shit ain't bleak. Finally time to sit and stream on Twitch where I'll stay for a decade like a stupid bitch. Yeehaw! Friends, who needs them? <laughs> Never known was either I stream me selfish and self-centered Too busy feeling sorry for self To do anything else to annoy you And I'm geeky to stay for more than 30 minutes Too stupid to listen to it Why they ask for it Do me stupid things And they're complaining to you Because they went totally against what you told them Don't be fooled, she's something and she wasn't 
every single one in my life that's one or more of the above And every single one has let me down You wanna know why so many of us are so uninteresting Full of the far south thinking they are sick Because they demand it If someone has no confidence Then that's no good, they always whine They want a nice guy And there are none of them left in me Fucking break They walk all over nice ones Use them, abuse them, play with their hearts But in the end People have become so fucking selfish Dishonest and full of themselves They have no fucking idea what it is They really want from a partner This is why so many people have become that overconfident asshole Because if we're nice, we get fucked over and thrown away Because we're too poor You ain't the one or other other stupid the fucking reason they give At least if we act like total tips We could make love Yo, so she said all that shit about about girth, and then she's like, "Oh, well, I want a cute guy." Nancy. <laughs> yes. Sorry, there's 60 people on the line for this call, so I think that's the problem. Okay. Well, let's try and just keep going.
It's a damn head party Fill will make some more Everybody's drooling Never gotten late before Never had a single friend before fun of any stream chatter, Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking loser. This is great. Thank you, Phil. What's up, Phil? I just say hi. I not love this see you buy eat chicken nuggets and hamburger watching you six I feeling Lucy an ultrasonic gas quake feeling Lucy hello Phil son can play Cammy I got my shirt today at Chun Li and a time go bed for me Yes, Kazuga feeling Lucy. Dur, 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 dur. Feeling Lucy. Look what I can do online! I big fan Yakuza, no like BG3. I DK, I love this, I ready, go sleep. So what new you taunt? How do Jasper and Cat too? Phil, I love you, I feel Lucy. Mr. Swaggins to the 25-bit chair says, if, I don't know if you ever answered this, but did you ever watch Friends? Yes, I did. I love watching Friends from back in the day. Sitcoms are good to watch in bed. So no one told you Argentinians are fake. YouTube's a joke, he's broke. Game Trekkers, M.I.A. It started with a bit of a metal gear. Though we haven't tipped today, this week, this month, or even this year, but I'll be there for you. With your low hit support, I'll be there for you. Don't care about your snore. He said hello to It's a joke about you. Last year's Chicken the Ring Lemtex in the house there with what I will say is thus. Last song of the day coming at you. Jay doing things. 
Gen- Gen- Genesis Reasus, he knows me coming at you, and you'll be redirected that to that being said right after this there song. There seems to be this weird. You're all legends. Don't forget it. See over there. All right. That somehow, just listen to this. I have psychic manipulative powers that make you do things against your will that you wouldn't normally do. And when I turn on my stream, I use my psychic manipulative powers through the internet to make you contribute to my content. And it's all the psychic power hypnosis that I use over the internet. Ooh, did you know that I was an X-Man all along? Ooh, I'm coming for you. Ooh. I mean... <laughs> okay, allow me to explain to you how this really works. Well, hello everyone, Phil here, and welcome to something special. No nonsense, let's relax, let's have games, let's have a good interactive time style vibes here. I'm enjoying a variety of games, being honest with my audience, and having great social interactions every single day that I stream. See the face on the YouTube stream, begging at you every weekday. See the face in the thumbnail, well that man is me. My content is my legacy. Forget the time that they caught me wanking. Oh, the you won't believe that this all started with a helicopter company. It happened to me. You may have good troll rumors, Jim Dordash WWE. You don't need to believe in their slander, just believe in re. Cause viewers, you know me and you know I'm right. I've been working my ass off for you all day and night. I did nothing wrong, I did everything right Not my fault You just keep on tipping me, sound good, alright Sounds good to me I protect my family, I'm a mature adult Who operates a household I work so hard I don't have time for friends And I sleep alone at night Don't believe the conspiracies Don't believe the dumb style theories Watch me and only me Cause I deserve the damn spotlight there's no doubt you're pignotized You believe in everything I'm saying If you wanna see my new vest Let's indirect and start paying Cause viewers you love me and I know I'm right The fame and fortune is all I dream about at night I did nothing wrong, I did everything right By the way, I'm just gonna start banning people right now because I've had enough I'm just gonna ban like 10 people all right, I need funds to do things in the short term. We hit a Tibbs goal tonight, that would be superb. I know you guys love me and what I do. Uh, financially, things are rough for me. Fuck you! Won't find me begging when I hit that Tibbs goal. Crack open a bottle of gin for the night. Just make sure to check my daily gaming schedule. Cause if you can support me, please swing on my yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to guilt trip you Eat a, eat a, eat a lunch meat sandwich But I'm taking you please, my bills are overdue I need that money, I really do, I need that money And my bills Don't look at the detractors Don't look at the trolls Don't look at any other content creators that you know You can find me on YouTube SP no space gaming You can tip me anytime but tip right now cause support is low The members are joining in droves And I'm not getting any poorer All of this is thanks to you My loyal pay pigs, whales and viewers Cause viewers you love me and I know I'm right Thanks for the money, Donnie My meaningful content is the meaning of my life Meaningful to me I did nothing wrong, I did everything right I did nothing wrong I just can't wait to pull some tokens tonight Alright Cause viewers you love me, you love me right you love my content, right? I'll be doing the same shit for the rest of my life Every day of my life is I still life. do nothing wrong, I do everything right I did nothing wrong You just keep on tipping me and everything will be alright Do as you love me Do as you love me supports the stream Anyway, there'll be a, you know, a like, a super chat, a membership, a gifted membership uh, You know, a tip, all appreciated, okay? Do as you love me <laughs> Okay, now